Come on in, everyone. Uh, I didn't really plan on doing another manicure stream this like early in the week, but also I'm not surprised that I kind of need to because uh, the cows are kind of notoriously bad with a peel off base coat. So the fact, I mean, honestly, considering Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's actually the fifth day. So for peel off base, not, not bad. Wait, t it, yeah, today's Wednesday, question mark. Anyway, let's uh, get a Discord notification sent. And a uh, uh, thingy, what a twit, twit, and Twitter. <laughs> the, the, the twatter? Let's do like this. Mm. Hey, Tony, welcome. Nails and the I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sad to see this go, but also like some of my other ideas are pretty good. Like, all the ideas I want to do are kind of involved. Maybe the one is not as bad as I think it is. But probably it is as bad as I think it is. <laughs> Vicariously. Hello. Flamingo, hello. Yes. So... I really, really enjoyed this. I did finally get my sunlight pictures. I posted them. I did a... I did a community post on YouTube um, with some of the sun like pictures, like just two of them. <sighs> like really, I mean, of course, as always, like I feel like I should get back to Instagram because that gives me a chance to showcase more pictures, except also usually if I do an Instagram post, I try to time it around the same time the video goes out because that's like when it matters to YouTube. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the post will also drive a little bit of traffic. <laughs> yeah, well, I was I was getting ready and then I was like, oh, wait, one of my one of my ideas required me to get out some additional supplies that I knew where they were. I just had forgotten to get them out. Um, hi, son. Hi, Oat. Also, did I say hi, Zia and hi, Trina and hi, Izzy? Um, I'm very tired. I, I really was going to take today off, but I was like, I can't, I can't, I cannot sit around like this. Like, so we're going to do nails and maybe it's going to be complicated. <laughs> Cause I mean, that's what you do when you're really tired, right? Is do really complicated nails. Cause, cause you make good decisions when you're sleepy. <laughs> Bail, hello. <gasps> oh, caddy. Oh, no. That was like a roller coaster of dark rainbows. And then, oh, no, broken nail. Oh, my goodness. Okay, also, I see we have... Are we up to three treats? Is that three treats and a pet? I believe, I think. Question mark. Zia, Trina, caddy. Hi, Amethyst. Okay. Yeah. You ready, for, you ready for our treats? Mr. Good Boy? We had a very nice time outside. I finished the fucking crossword. Dude, I'm cracked at crossword puzzles. I've, I've finished the crossword puzzle every day for like the last couple weeks. Somehow, the pudding churns through enough to like get it done. Um, okay, wait, no, that's a fourth treat from Wistful. Hi, Wistful. Hello, treats. Hey, Jose, welcome. Yeah, well, I, like, it's like, 
I don't know if it works. Like it's to try and get my brain like going in a less a less pudding fashion before stream and like have a little you know touch a little grass as the as the youth say spend a little time outside with Mr. Bane um yeah he was being a little bit naughty but he's been better the past couple days but I've been having to keep a very close eye on him hey Gidge the harness went well the leash did not go well so I'm back to just having to watch him very carefully which like is fine but only for like limited periods of time because he thinks he's so slick sit <clears throat> no just like just like go outside you know sit on the patio look at the clouds moving through the sky gaze upon the garden wonder if the strawberries are going to do much of a second crop because they were overgrown with shamrocks and punished by the hot weather that occurs always at like the worst possible time um you no know, you do you do not have to actually pet the grass but you can like beanie goes out you know and lays right in the grass beanie touches grass I, I don't touch grass as thoroughly as Beanie does. <laughs> Naki, hello. You haven't missed too much. We're just getting started. Also, Grad, hello. Music Gal, hello. So, anyway. I hope you guys are all doing well. Did I say hi, Gitch? I think I maybe I don't know. Snacksy. Ah. Good oh boy. I'm so glad. Yes, you are. Please stay. Please don't leave now that you've had your treats. Please hang out. I'll even move. I'll even move that box full of nail supplies if you want me to. <laughs> oh, that's good, son. It's always nice to be like prepared. Less shit to take care of in the morning. I need to take these out. Anyway, so. I have lost three peelies. Well, I have the peelies. They're not lost. I've popped three peelies. Is anybody else really sad when they like lose a peely and it's like actually lost? Um, camera. These were really, really I like good. I enjoyed them a lot. The blue one is probably the best, like, just, like, purely from aesthetic perspective. Like, the contrast between the colors is the best. Um, but I liked all of them, and the green was really good, too. Um, but, but something about the blue. Like, if, if I had not been specifically going for, like, you know, a, a, a Skittle look and it's not that i don't like the other ones it's just like if we had if we if i had to pick one it would have been the blue one because the blue one is best the green one was also like very very good but the blue one was best can i can i get the well i could do this finger. oh no it's off of that finger oh i have another peely you guys that was my brain churning live in front of you like the balance between them. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it really is really good. Mm. Um, I do summer. Also, Delphine, hello. Um, I think it's still... Is that the right one? I think that's the right one. My little preview isn't loading. I do, Torny. I do. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. 
No, I'm, I mean, I'm, <laughs> y'all, please, please, please let me know if I ever get annoying with it. But I am trying to, like, push YouTube a little bit more to, like, fucking make it a little bit worthwhile to still, like, I don't know. I almost, I came very close. So if you guys are familiar with AdSense, which is what YouTube pays you through, they have a payment threshold. For the first time in like however many years I've been monetized, I came like this close to like not getting a check because I didn't make enough fucking money on YouTube. And it's like, dude, YouTube is just like the slowest, like frustrating trip of, anyway. People really like this one so like slight upward trajectory and I turned on like channel memberships and stuff so I'm trying to like give it a little bit of love but dude I, I fucking hate YouTube it's so stressful <laughs> also another beanie pet from chunky can I can I interrupt you sir you look like you're doing very important private business there <laughs> yeah thank you yeah thank you dwarf um maybe should i should i have a link to that here <sighs> i hadn't thought about that i turned on memberships on youtube because i was incentivized to do so and and to all of you that have become a member over there thank you very much i actually get a better cut than youtube gives along with incentives for like the first I don't know if it's like t a, a four weeks or 30 days that I'm in the program for each member I get an incentive bonus I should I probably should um did anyone get the new Orly Kelly Marissa clap that looks so good so like on point for Halloween and stuff Twitch would not let you chat wistful welcome um yeah jellies and topper they look pretty opaque in the promo post maybe like buildable jellies i saw orly i saw i saw kelly like post some teasers about it and then i actually saw orly with the collection pictures i'm sure she probably posted by now too but like you know how fucking twitter is um yeah marching band practice that's <laughs> my first thought was that sounds irritating mm. yeah that's fair dwarf yeah youtube is very weird like okay so here's the thing well number one i know not everybody can make every live or whatever i gotta have at least you know an archive channel if nothing else and for the nail polish vods that makes sense to be on my nail polish channel instead of with the other vods which are also <clears throat> not exactly up to date but like also like short tutorials like it's not that there's zero audience it's just that youtube has limited my reach like i don't know you're so at the mercy of the algorithm on youtube it doesn't feel like you know there there it doesn't feel like there's a lot you can do about it if youtube decides to be like haha no we're not gonna recommend your shit at all um something wonderful about watching people create i appreciate that <laughs> kind of crappy today like the rhythm is all yeah um all right, Caddy, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know how long we're gonna go. Okay, let me grab the notebook out. I'll give you guys just like a teaser. So I wrote these two like little notes at the bottom here. What if I tried to do a gradient with all 21? Would that just end up fucked up or would it end up phenomenal? And then the other one is like, what if we do like... A gradient but a gradient of all three and then we would have like a design like you know not not just like straight like 
Mm, we'll see. I don't know. I don't like. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't have vinyls to accomplish this. I would have to cut vinyls. Um. You always watch both the stream and the edited tutorial. Yeah, Delphi. I mean, I always feel like if people watch the tutorial and they have a question about like any specific part, then you can go to the VOD and like look at that part to get more information on that part. But like, I appreciate that you, like people watch the whole thing too. That's great. Your mom is watching. Hi, Gidge's mom. Make her drink some water. <laughs> you guys, you guys can, you guys can drink water together. <laughs> the explore page on your YouTube has been hijacked by short run. Um, watch my mom. Uh oh, your mom might not like me, Gidge. <laughs> mm. Yes. Crisp and cold, delicious water. Mm. Hydrate your meat sack. <laughs> water's good for everyone um okay so like if I like how what is the most you've ever gradiented with like on one sponge I don't think I've ever done more than like seven for a full rainbow <laughs> <laughs> sun and I thought about it cause I mean like would it get muddy or would they like blend into like a fantastic thing like that thing when you pick colors in like you know what I mean like in a like in a program and it's like a rainbow mm. yeah so like is doing a gradient with 21 polishes feasible at all <laughs> yeah like maybe I should maybe I should do peelies and then maybe we should just see if this sucks <laughs> but if we lay it out see okay do I have a pencil you guys fucking sharpen the pencil I didn't make it too sharp because I don't like writing with an extra sharp pencil but like okay so we would have like Oh, a year. Okay, I'll just we'll we'll use we'll use this arrow. That would be the OG collection, right? And then on this side would be the pastel collection. And on this side would be the dark collection. And then they would be Roy G. Biv in the same order up here. So they would all gradient into each other and into the similar colors. I had a glass nail file as my birthday gift, but I didn't want to pay shipping just to get it. And I didn't want to buy a bunch of other stuff on not on sale just to get free shipping. Purple, enjoy your lurk. Next time you do a hollow talk order, you can get a get a glass file for your mom. So yeah, like I I like because this is cool it would be like that except not zigzaggedy and not dots you know I, like this is what got me like started thinking about it Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's, okay. Let's do peelies. Before we start testing. And then let's just see. Do I need to, like, close my curtain so that this wind stops blowing through my window? I don't want to actually close my window. Because it'll get stuffy. It's, like, cool. It's probably not cool enough for Gidge, but it's cool to me. I think I do. Hold on. I like being chilly when I'm doing nail art. Okay. Mm. 
thinking and planning no i mean they just go in order it's just like regular regular rainbow it's just a lot of them it's multiple of them um okay Hey Google, what's the weather? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do Big G. Currently in Minneapolis, it's 63 degrees and mostly cloudy. Tonight, the forecast is for a high of 62 and a low of 48 with scattered showers. 48? Sorry, I, I did that completely without thinking. I didn't give any Big G warning. Yeah, it's like, it's chilly. Like 48 is legit chilly to me. Um... Yeah, it, it it was 87 yesterday. I had my air conditioning on when I was streaming the whole time. Like, it was almost 90 and high humidity and hot as fuck. It was like summertime. I don't like it when the weather switches this fast. That's going to be like a freaking 40 degree temperature swing. That's gross. That's like not cool. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's still been super, super hot for you, Amethyst. And other people, too. Like, and not that I want to be, like, super hot, but, like, I mean, I wouldn't ob object to some days, like, what would be, like, normal temperature. Like, I think our average high this time of year is supposed to be, like, 73. Something like that. Like, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it can mess with my asthma too. Usually, I mean, I'm pretty aware of it, but it can just make you feel kind of like weird, headachey. Um, so yeah, but you know, soon enough it'll be like way colder even than this. Like, I was still able to sit outside on the patio and have a nice little afternoon uh, what do I want to call it? It's like, I mean, it seems a little bit odd to take a break before I even start working, but you know, it was kind of like a break. Mm. And I'm I'm not one of those people that's gonna be doing that once it's like actually cold. I'm not gonna be doing crosswords in the snow. Hey, Bree coming in with the raid. Welcome. You just missed these lovely, flawless, gorgeous peelies here of my last manicure. Hmm. I'm gonna pick some good ones here. Welcome on in, Raiders. This is what we just took off. Um, 99, Naki. Holy moly. Uh, current temp is 95. Heat index 100. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I. These were. These were good. Partial rainbow. Well, I guess ombre, gradient, whatever you want to say. Well, skills. Um, and now we're going to do some absurd rainbow gradient testing, I think, question mark. I think, I think that's my plan. <laughs> but um, I hope you had a good stream. Oh, you were doing Fall Guys. I hear that the new season is really good, but I have not played since the season changed or updated or whatever. So I'm thinking about doing a gradient with 21 colors and I'm trying to decide if that's absurd. I mean, probably it's absurd, but like... <laughs> absurd in a bad way? Not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, we've already got 
these. I mean, I, the other one, it's not like the other ones got put away. Please believe. Um. Whoops. Mm. We're gonna have to maybe zoom out a little bit. Um, um, okay. I mean, the goal would be tutorial camera doesn't like that. Well, I'm not about to record a tutorial on this anyway, so. Oh, the announcement's not showing on mobile. I swear it didn't used to be like that. We're slightly longer than sponge length right now. Like if I put it by my cuticle, of course it swells a little bit once there's polish on it. Is this like also feels like almost slightly a small sponge? Is this a normal size sponge? Am I mistaken? Yeah, these are literally the same size. Mm. I don't know, Bale, that's the question. We have a crack in this patch, but it seems to be holding. I just noticed. Also, I, I obviously haven't cleaned up any of my polish residue. Um, I think I would want to go this way instead of counting on it to swell and, uh, be long enough this way and that would give me a little bit of room for like overlap but also i don't want to make it too long okay just trying to move this in a unit Okay, so I think like just cut off a bit. Do I want to? I don't want to base it on my longest nail. I think I want to base it on like my middle nail. Let's just cut off. Okay, I think that's a pretty good. It's a little bit lopsided because the sponge itself is lopsided. Do I want to try to fix that? I don't think so. We'll just try to be mindful of it. Or actually, I guess it's because we're on the triangle part. No, we're not. What? No. It's because of the way I cut it. Wait, that is the side that I cut. I cut crooked. I thought that was the outside side. That's the inside side. Hmm. How can I... Feels like a little a tad small now. Actually, I guess it's pretty much the right size. I wanted it to be like a little bit, like slightly longer, but it's actually like about 
the same length. It's like slightly small. It's good for testing. If I were if I were doing manicure, I would probably pick a different sponge. And uh recut it. I'm gonna have to really be careful cutting though. Also, did I start that one on the skinny end? Maybe I need to start on the thick end. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to open all 21 of these. Um thank you, Chunky. Yeah. They're I mean they're not in the best shape right now. But I do like this length a lot. Also, high crafty. Confused math lady meme. As we try to calculate if we have enough time. Do I have enough? Am I going to be able to reach these? Oh, <laughs> ah, you guys. Okay. Should this one be like over here? Maybe, yeah, maybe the pastels go off of the mat over here. Maybe we put the scissors over here put this back in here okay like just opening up all of the bottles is actually such a fucking chore especially some of them are kind of tight hey math math unless things have changed he's wearing this on his nails Mmm. 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 Yeah. We're opening 21 bottles of nail polish math because I make good decisions. <laughs> math, you should you should play. I'm telling you, Math, you should play on 20 progression depth. The progress chains are so fun. I don't know if you saw it. I know you saw the one of me gaming, but did you see the clip of Mr. Mushroom once again having all three of my dreamers? Fuck. Past me. Clean off the necks of the polish, for fuck's sake. You did okay. <laughs> Mr. Mother wait is Gidge's mom still here oh, maybe, I, maybe I shouldn't repeat that <laughs> mm. yeah take one down pass them around okay we're almost there three more to open three more to open Okay, but also, so the one I was talking about that was like three lines of like actual gradients, like individual gradients, like with a crisp line between them instead of gradient between the gradient, was that I was thinking that that one I could achieve in possibly just two layers if I did the outside colors on a split sponge gradient. Math, I don't know. I don't know. That, that definitely is a game that apparently exists. Okay. I want to. Maybe I start in the center, which would be green. like this is so small but it's nail sized but it's so small oh I don't know you guys maybe I should have used a bigger, bigger a bigger sponge but then how am I gonna fit it on my nail if the sponge is bigger oh no 
this is going to be a hot mess, but we're going to see it through. We are going to see it through. But let me just clarify that it's going to be a hot mess. I'm using both too much and not enough. Okay. This, these are the main problems. But you know, the green is not dry yet. We're more than halfway through. I don't know what the solution to this would be. It's hard to apply it neatly with the with the brush out of the bottle, but like you don't want to fuck around with the separate brush. Oh, hold on. It doesn't it doesn't suck. Not the, not the smoothest blend I've ever seen in my life, but actually, like... Why is it... I feel like there's, like, slightly too much overlap there. Can I dab up some of that? Pro tip, use the clean end of your sponge to dab up messy or dirty parts that you don't like. I think that improves that greatly. Yo! Yeah, it's so like you can see, like it was like a dark, it was like, def hello, can we, can we focus your camera? It was like a dark, muddy area and you can just like pick it up. Not not like flawless, but like it definitely it definitely helps. Like it makes it savable because I mean like this needs a second layer, obviously anyway. <laughs> I mean I we're good I guess we do the second layer. I'm just I mean I guess that was a pretty good strat. Like, it kept it mostly centered on the sponge. This is... I need to place the other colors closer. Because, like, this is wider than nail width. The, uh... The OG rainbow would take over on the nail. Okay. Let's see what we can do here closer oh upside down I mean not that it matters closer also after the first dab the sponge absorbs polish nicer right so we're not getting as much like sitting there on the surface as we did for that very first I should zoom in more. I'll do that in a second. I'm sorry, you guys. Bad strimmer. Okay. 
So I think like it's a little harder to tell since it's soaking in, but I think we're still like wet enough to be okay. Oh, that was kind of a lot. That purple might get obscured altogether. The middle purple. Kind of into the blue, too. Hmm. off camera this is not very easy to see I feel like the dark is muddying things I feel like actually I know exactly what I need to do okay actually actually um okay start off pick the square side and then cut off the lopsided side and cut from this end. That's pretty good. Okay. I broke one of my rules of sponging. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to be... Of course, the nice thing is they're so close to each other, they'd have trouble tipping over. I'm more likely to just get, like, a lot of nail polish on other polishes' caps. Mm. Okay. Um, un unwritten rules of gradient apply the darkest color on the sponge first I broke that rule um okay I am gonna start with the like the center green like actually in the middle though again because I need that as a visual also maybe I just don't apply quite as much on the first one okay Darkest first. I don't know if I should do all the colors or just like all the darkest and then like the middle and then, you know what I mean? Or if I should just do, you know, dark and then middle and then light and then repeat. That would probably keep me going a little bit straighter. I seem to be a little bit drifty here. We've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a lean. Whoa. Blurb. This would probably have to be an accent nail. Mm. 
it's still the problem like right there like the darks want to get muddy next to or maybe it's also just partly too that I'm like using too much polish there I don't know if I can make this work well you know like what do I what do I need to do differently there that's better let me, let me do a second layer might also partly be like because from the curve that it, when I went to sponge it it was weird or maybe I just need to really really minimize any overlap between the dark and the OG but like a little bit of overlap is what makes gradients usually like blend nicely you know man Yeah, no way. I don't think there's any way I could manage a full manicure of this. I'm not even gonna lie. This is like a whole manicure's worth of polishes on every sponge. if I could just get them to blend properly like I do think it's partly like a too much polish problem but like I'm trying to dab as like not generously as I can like sometimes they're just there is a little more on the brush than I think Do I layer this or do I stand or do I sponge it in a new spot to see how that layout like blended together? I think I want to put it up here. Oh shit. That's it. Seven. Hi, Birdie. Hi, anybody that came in while I was like putting twenty-one polishes on a bro on a sponge. Hey, apples. Hello. Yeah. Let me do. Let me do a second coat with that technique I mean we want to go Roy G. Biv too right I mean I feel partly like some of it right there too is because uh, Burnt Bridges is like so dark even compared to some of the other ones okay we do we do one more layer Dark to light, not too much polish. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember exactly what made me think about this. I mean, other than the other one that we did that was in dots. Which I still also, like, really like. Like, a part of me is like, well, just do that instead. That's, like, less work than this is. But is it really? The cows again is what that would involve. Like, this makes me wonder, too, like, uh, that was kind of a lot. The good one was on top. It was the second layer sponged with that. Like, maybe I need a starter layer that's, like, not even on my nail for this. Like, that's not usually something I do for a gradient. But in this case... Like, the way the polish applies is definitely different after the initial layer. See, there it muddied again. Up here a little bit. I guess it's not too bad. Maybe I should look at this with, with a little bit of top coat. There's a there's like a sponge poop on there too. The sponge is also a good judge of the gradient. But it's kind of interesting because on the sponge the purple end looks more blended together and on the page well, it's hard for you guys to see cuz it's very dark against the light background, but I feel like the red end is actually muddier. Let's apply some top coat. Which, gosh, like my top coat actually could use a top off. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Um, and some flashlight time. Judge these rainbows more accurately under a flashlight. Actually, top coat, of course, you know, it's a gradient, of course. Why am I surprised? Gradients always look better with top coat top top coat hmm. also the rainbow is just oh oh camera yes no camera stay I think too Like, the purple end is probably a little bit juicier because it's the one that's done last. Maybe I need to be even more... Um... More or less. Ah! <laughs> Should I do it? It's so big. See, and that's the, the swell of the, of the sponge. Oh, camera, come on, you can do it. Did it. Do I do three layers on the nail? I mean, are the pastels... Like, the pastels are not coming through. You know...
like it's pretty good nail size but okay but okay so check it out okay is this dry it's sesh feet but sesh i should not have done that i touched it i touched it i touched it okay i had the thought i shouldn't have touched it I was like, is it dry? It would be dry on my nails. It's not dry on paper. I know Sesh Feet doesn't dry that pass on. Dry that fast on paper. Maybe there are three layers, but only two of the layers include the dark rainbow. Is that the first and second layer? Or is that the first and third layer? I think it might be the first and second layer. Of course, then we might get like too much rainbow on top. Maybe, maybe it is the first and third layer. And the third layer is like a touch just to like because the, if there's any problem that I see it's that I do feel like the dark is somewhat overwhelming the OG in, in in that area but I think that could resolve it I mean I really gotta work small it has to be way skinnier than this the sponge Maybe we need to cut it the other direction too, to cart to curtail ourselves. I feel like I just need to be more careful with my application. Well, you know what we could do. See how it looks after one. Make a decision. I mean, it's going to be different on the nail. Like, I don't feel like... I mean, these ones at the bottom are not great examples. But, like, I don't feel like one layer is enough to have it be a smooth gradient. It needs at least a slight, slight additive layer at a later point. Oh no. Oh, Naki. A very tender and painful brick. I like, I can. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but like, that's so descriptive. Like, just like. Mm. Yeah. Luckily, I have nice, fresh liquid latex. Okay, you know, I know what I said earlier. There is a part of me that wants to do this on every nail. Simply because if I don't, then what's on my other nails? <gasps> Highest bidder. Or electrostatic. Okay, I'm actually not going to put the tops back on all these. I'm just going to make the tops on them. You know what I mean? So let's hope we don't have any incidents. Because I'm not undoing 21 caps again. That's too many. We just need to do quick nail cleanup. What do you guys... Would you do electrostatic or would you do highest bidder? Or, I mean, I guess Circuit Breaker or something. Black Hollow Wish. Mmm. <laughs> A gradient between the two. Oh. Would I need, would I need a transitory silver? 
Circuit Breaker would probably take over over Highest Bidder. I've seen, uh... No. Featured Guest. I'm sorry. I was gonna I was gonna say I've seen these gradiented together with highest bidder in between. Highest bidder is the other the other one that's that other formula. In my defense, perhaps I didn't remember the name because I haven't worn it's on its own yet. Yeah, I would kind of lean dark too. Because the, I mean, the, the gradient leans a bit dark. Um, actually, maybe I'll save that clean one for the tutorial. Let's use those. Yeah, I don't know if I even would want to do like two accent nails or four accent nails usually i do four accent nails i do like ring finger and thumb but that is a that is a chonky gradient that is a now of course like for the clickbait and the and the good thumbnail i should do all my nails but like realistically that's just not happening not today that's mostly just floof should we scooch you in a bit scooch <laughs> thank you for the alert though i don't want him to fall off again we already have two beanie falling off of his chair clips at least three at least <laughs> oh remember how i said that patch was holding i lied i lied well we get to redo patches well, we get to redo a patch. A beanie falling off his chair reel. <laughs> it itches. Oh no. Do you have any like anti-itch cream or anything, Naki? A best of beanie moments. No. Guy's got to clip more beanie stuff. I mean, he does make it into the BRB reels. <laughs> oh. yeah I could I could go my entire life without having another bee sting and I would be just fine carefully crafted collection of cat <laughs> best of bean that's also good never son that's i feel like that's like uh pretty rare <sighs> i really thought that i wasn't gonna have to fuck around with uh patches <gasps> a beanie bot <laughs> birdie with the plead yes you don't have to plead you literally gave your channel points do I remember the command okay It took a minute. I was like, maybe I don't. Spooky bot. Yeah, get people to get into uh, bidding wars with the butt spot preferences. Butt spot is like my only good high tier channel point redeem <laughs> 
some sometimes obvious things just pop out like the the snack bot for the Hades playthrough was truly inspired. Steel Soul bot for the All Achievements run similarly. Like it was the it was good timing. Enough for two bot spot changes. What would they be? See, Matt, you should get you should get butt spot just to turn it into trombone bot for this game you're about to play. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ella May trombone. I can just see it now. I've got gel residue here. My off camera. I was gonna say good. Don't don't look at me picking at my gel instead of soaking it off. Don't do that. <laughs> Bone bot. Mm. Toot bot. That's great. Mm. That that game looks very absurd. It's got uh, a little bit Parappa the Rappa vibes. Just the character like vibe. Like intentionally goofy. Oh, ouch. Okay, well, that was not a helpful thing to do, Clip. Which is why you're not supposed to do it this way. Does Buttspot do multiple words? I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried to do multiple. My simple little bot. That would be good. Perhaps we'll test at some point. later once beanie bot has expired technically the redeem says for 24 hours uh but people like just get such good redeems i'm like well i don't even have any incentive to change this back to whatever it was before because this is so good although i do miss thick spot i will say i do miss thick spot Oh, no spaces can be in the world. That's unfortunate. Hey, Crystal. Welcome. Let me get out some Q-tips. He is. He's even had all of his treats and he still decided to stay and hang out with us today. Very kind of him. Alright, making sure as much of that residue is gone and everything is clean. Before getting out the worst nail product known to man. Honestly, it might make Beanie leave. <laughs> oh, I was going to refill my top coat too, wasn't I? Let me do that right now. So that if I introduce any bubbles, they can be settled out by the time we get to... Oh. Need to get more. I considered possibly upgrading to Vive the next time I had to buy a refill. But I never made a decision. Because I was having that problem with flakies and discoloration. And we were wondering if Vive would fix it. I wonder if I could maybe use underscores.
Actually, I guess there's probably still at least one more refill in here. <laughs> I, I, do, I do have my own website if you count my blog. I mean, I haven't posted to it in like three years, but you know. I'm sorry you've had a rough couple weeks, Crystal. I hope you can have some time to treat yourself a little bit. Okay. So this is a gel that will hold together this break till it grows out and is not horrible anymore. Um... with a curing spray that is literally the grossest nail art product I've ever used but it does the job always work in a well ventilated area alright also a wiggle warning look away if you don't like it Stop rolling around, Cap. Basically, we want it to uh, flow down into the brake a little bit so that it seals when we cure it. Try to get things as smooth as possible, including underside and edge. I'm gonna need to apply a little bit of pressure once I do the spray. <laughs> Math, yes, exactly. It just, it could put a smile on your face. It doesn't matter if everything else sucks. I mean, it still matters, but, you know... Sunlight is the best kind of flashlight time. I, you know, I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I thought about posting the sunlight pictures on the community tab on YouTube because, like, I have vastly underused the community tab. Because I was, I was like, well, what do I possibly post here that's not, like, annoying? Alright, we're pretty much cured. Welcome home, Gidge. Okay, so even then, we've got a little bit of a bump here, so I'm going to, oh, also move my phone from balancing. File it just a little bit till that edge is smoother. And then we'll do a second layer, concentrating on that outside support. He did leave. Did he do it right as I did it? Gidge VODs exist. I think I said something like, your mom might not like me very much if she wants me to watch my mom. Cause that's not going to happen. Except one time I did watch my mouth. When I was about to talk about Mr. Motherfucker. 
in regards to Mr. M in, in regards to Mr. Mushroom. All right. We've smoothed out that nicely. Get rid of the dust. Does the underside need more? I don't think so. I'll just concentrate on this edge mostly. <laughs> All right, a little bit. Try to make sure the transition between the gel and my nail is smooth. Like once I'm done playing with rainbows, we'll probably like this break is almost grown out. I don't know if you can even see it too well. There's still a patch there. There's still a little bit of a break there, but it's in pretty good condition. Whereas this one, of course, is like a brand fresh patch, Pratt patch, but you can see. Like that breaks going two thirds of the way across and that would be pretty uncomfortable to have a break that low. All right, cuticles. And then Like I'm also, okay, we were talking about two or four accent nails. Like thumb would be like the actual ideal place to have it, right? Because thumbnail is biggest. Thumb versus ring finger. I mean, probably I can do it on my ring finger. I just really gotta. Like the gradient is the right length. It's the width that is the problem but also I don't want it to be like sparse at the edges I guess if it goes over the edges it's okay we just have to work on making the middle section like quite narrow mm. <laughs> well I hope it doesn't get too swollen because swollen is probably not a good thing Naki but also well, can't really see that's a that's a great camera crop there. <laughs> um, why did I put that away? I need that. Very smart. Okay. Uh, double accent baby. All right, super quick cuticles, cause I'm just not in the mood. A little scrippity scrapity. Also, I usually have been giving a warning lately for filing. I'm sorry I didn't when I was buffing the patch. I, it, like it's not the same thing in my mind as nail filing, but it probably bothers people who don't like that sound equally the same. And if you don't like the scraping sound, uh, same advice, which is please feel free to take advantage of captions, which I'm pretty sure I turned on because I'm a pro streamer. Yeah, I'm a pro streamer. I turned on my captions. Of course I did. No, I really did. But <laughs> I was just realizing that sounds like it did like a, oh, sure I did. But I really did. 
Um, I know they're not perfect. But sometimes they do come in clutch. Or is my middle nail appreciably wider than my ring finger that I should make an exception and make my middle nail my accent nail? That's not something I do very often. I don't know if I like that idea. I know it was my idea, but I don't know if I like it. Oh, I interrupted my own self earlier. And I never did finish what I was doing, did I? Yeah, don't scratch. Scratching can make things so much worse. And more swollen, because it like it, it it adds to the irritation. I'll need a little nipper on that hangnail. Oops. Had a little gel on my finger there. It's sticky. The hollow on beanie. I mean, we have beanie rave. That's beanie rainbows. That may be as close as we get to the hollow beanie. How are you feeling today? Oh, are you still tired? I'm tired. I'm sorry if you're tired. Anybody, if you are tired, I'm sorry. I mean, not in like an apologetic sort of sorry, because obviously like it's not my fault. Just like, I feel you type of I'm sorry. You know? Like just imagine being well rested. I mean, if you don't have to imagine, that's great. But like, just imagine. <laughs> Kid. yeah I wonder too I mean probably I mean you're a grown up Naki obviously but did you make sure you got the stinger out of there If you're not sure, the baking soda can definitely help with that. I feel like when I got stung, the baking soda helped like draw out the stinger and soothe the wound. Because it's like cooling. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I guess maybe that's more of like a bee sting thing. Where they leave their literal whole ass inside of your arm. I mean, that's that's not accurate at all. But, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as to being well rested should not be a luxury. Like, it's, it's so absurd that that's kind of true. Mm. Maybe now's a good time to take a nap. If you're not well rested, we have the mellow music that I can't hear, but that you guys can hear. It's very relaxing. Every now and then, you may or may not hear me scream loudly, curse, or get jump scared by the lurker alert. But other than that, it's very mellow here. <laughs> sometimes i really do when i don't get scared by the lurker alert i feel bad because like not like okay. very mellow here matthew <laughs> Be 
because if I get scared, at least that's content. But if I don't get scared, then that's just like rip any lurkers. Like, <laughs> yeah, just trying to help. Math just trying to help with the mellow vibes. Oh my god, <laughs> just making sure everyone understands. Yeah, yeah, if you're curious, what is a lurker alert? That's a lurker alert. It's the pale lurker. It's just like he sounds in the game. At approximately the same value of, of loudness. It's not as scary either. Oh, hey, Bean came back. It's not as scary either when I don't have my head on. on. Okay, look, I just said. <laughs> I didn't say it's zero scary. I said it's just less scary. Because it's not like, 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 like Lurker is standing right behind me when it's like in my ear. Ashley, thank you also for the lurker bits and uh, Purple, thank you for the midwife bits and kicking off. Oh, it's a super duper scam train. Uh oh. Y'all, I posted about this in Discord the other day. It's happening. Uh, don't let Twitch scam you, but I mean, let them scam you a little bit, maybe, but not too much. This is the this is the boost train scam train. Extra scam half the train. Well, I glanced. I was like, that's not my color of scam train. It's like teal. Is it teal for you guys too? Mm. Level one boost train sub gifter use bits to boost this stream. <laughs> <laughs> A mobile, it just says hype train. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you for the, uh, what is 102 midwife bits? Oh, uh, my goodness. <laughs> Panda, thank you for the bits. Yeah, so to my understanding, I guess apparently it has the potential when it's a boost train to put me on the front page I don't know if that's like just while the train is going or for some amount of time like I don't know how any of that works I rarely go to the front page I'm gonna keep it real um Julia also hello also Naki with the last little bits thank you um oh with the follow Julia wait is that why is that what the wait a minute was for did you, uh, did you get unfollowed? I feel like I'm pretty sure you followed before. Uh, I'm always worried I'm going to unintentionally follow somebody when I have my phone either in my pocket or in my boobs. Um, Anon. I see you. <laughs> Panda, thank you also for the 105 bits. Uh, Punch Buggy, thank you for the bits as well. Okay, Gidge, like it's almost long enough now from the refollow that like you can't complain. Almost. <laughs> um, Actually, that's almost a very satisfying number for you, Gidge. Um, you could, I mean, of course you can still complain and I'm sure you probably will still complain. Um, Tori, Tori, thank you for the follow. Um, also Trina, thank you for the bits. Oh, wait, is sun, sun's got reset at some point too. Rip. Dwarf. Thank you for the conversion. I don't think there's, oh, it did. I was going to say, is there an alert for that? But I guess there is. It doesn't say anything special, but it's special in my heart. Um, and Trina, thank you as well. Wait, Naki as well? <laughs> Three months. No, that's not true. Um, oh. I think, you know, if someone doesn't like color, well, that's not necessarily true because some people just like, like, darker colors i was gonna say if somebody doesn't like colorful nails i don't trust them but that's not necessarily true you don't have to love rainbows but you should love rainbows i support everyone having rainbows on their nails hey the crazy sibling welcome 
Well, now now is the time. <laughs> Trina with the nine months. Yeah, like I, you guys, I mean, past a certain point, like I don't know when the followage is accurate or not. I don't go around sneaking, looking at your followage dates, which you can do. You can, okay, did you guys know you can low key uh, peep anyone's followage by clicking their name in chat on desktop and it'll show you when they started following the channel that you're in? You've been following longer than Gage and Son. Hmm. <laughs> Gid, you've already revoked his butt. Why would Math be afraid of you anymore? Yeah. Yeah, there are so many people that have had it reset either due to Twitch glitches or weird things or there was that thing where it would show you as not being followed when you were followed and then when you click to follow, it unfollowed you. Or like I said, if I put my phone in my pocket and then I go to like reach it out of my pocket and then I touch something with my finger while I'm in there. That's a recipe for disaster. Or if it's like in my boob and I accidentally put it face down instead of face up. My boob could unfollow me from a friend. I don't think it's happened yet. Mm. Anon with the gift sub to punch buggy. Thank you. Well, I mean, you're like in the boob area. <laughs> Sun on top of the quotes today. Mm. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Maybe. I, d I don't know. Maybe my boobs are the only one with a mind of their own. When the boobs get in the way, the friendship can get ruined. Cleavage follow doesn't have quite the same ring as boob follow. Yeah. Cleavage. I mean, that's a word. I've got lots of that, too. I mean, I think I have, like, exponentially more boob than cleavage. <laughs> um, Anon with the gift sub to Blue and Anon with the gift sub to the crazy sibling. Hey, and the husbando coming through with the bits. Hello. Thank you, you guys. You guys are really... I... I Interesting. <sighs> have a funny feeling in my tummy. It's called love. Appreciation. Um. <laughs> appreciate being appreciated, I guess. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> your boobs are not there enough to have a mind of their own. Boobs running amok. Just, I mean, they, they, yeah, basically. I mean, just imagine running. Because, I mean, who wants to actually run? But yes, amok boobs occur. Therefore, boobs running amok. You, you can't make this stuff up. Also, Anon, I hope I have not missed it any of it. Miss, missed it? I hope I didn't miss it. Any of Anon's generosity. Anon with the gift sub to Crystal. And Naki with the gift sub to Purple. And Vin coming in with the sub. Hi. Thanks. Um, <laughs> you guys, we're on the level four ultra super duper scam boost train experience. Brought to you by twitch.scam.tv. Um, <laughs> hi, Vin. I hope you're having a good night. How far did you get in Cuphead last night? I dozed off. I know you were trying to wrap it up so you could get back to that, that juicy, juicy steel soul. But you also wanted that, that pacifist. So I don't know if that actually ended up happening. That pacifist stuff looked really, really like, I, I mean, I don't know. I need to be able to shoot things in order to get through. Trina with the gift sub to Summer. Trina, thank you so much. Cuphead made me angry a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't think I rage quit Cuphead. I just never went back to it after a certain point. Like I beat a boss that was walling me and then I just didn't pick it up again. 
the only game I would really say I've rage quit is Eternal Noctis. Like I un I understand that those were rage quits. But Cuphead was more just like eh. But I want to play it again because like it looks so cool and it's got such good music. Um <laughs> And I'm just like, especially with the DLC, I was like, I want to get the DLC. I want to check it out. I want to beat the game. I want to finish like the islands or whatever. And But I just never do. It's like, there's so many good games out there that don't enrage me. <laughs> it's hard to make time for the ones that do. But sometimes also the ones that are the most enraging are the most rewarding when you finally get it after many hours <sighs> gotta go back and do alien dj boss one of these days peach with the gifts up to the uh <laughs> the i don't know when you became the husbando but fanatic here is husbando thank you peach to peaches you've never to peaches <laughs> to channels you've never been to well, usually I think that's either t one of, well, of least of a couple things. Sometimes, like, if you ever fall asleep, you could get raided through a chain of channels that you are unawares of. Um, a lot of times if I fall asleep, I will check and see, like, where have I been? Um, but also I think it's kind of like, um channels that might show up in your recommended channels are also channels that you might get a sub to even if you've not been to them and sometimes like gift subs come with surprisingly cute emotes it's like i don't know who you are person but you've got great emotes yeah and I mean, sometimes too, it's like, oh, I remember being there, but it was like a long time ago. I was just thinking earlier today, like there were a few people that I found while they were doing like 24 hour streams and I liked them and followed them or whatever, except I've realized, you know, since that their normal stream time is like not a time that I'm probably almost ever going to catch them. It's like rip. <laughs> Rip until your next 24 hour stream, friend. Mm. Have zero channel points. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird then. Cause usually if you're, if you're there enough to count as a lurker, you would at least get some points. Or I guess like if it's a channel where literally everybody that's, you know, hello to Marcy. A non, thank you, um, to everybody that's been to the channel or, or that's, you know, a follower. That things just do start going out super randomly. Boost! Is this the appropriate reaction? <laughs> Purple, thank you again for the midway bits. Uh, level four. Wait, 1700 recommendations so far? Is that what it just said? It's telling me how many impressions it's giving me. Sh I should have been paying attention on the previous boost levels. I wasn't, I, I didn't, I, oh, well, that's kind of interesting, y'all. Actual information. I mean, if it's true. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I just assume Twitch is lying. <laughs> um, all right cuticles are not too bad so for anybody for anybody who's come here from my boost onto the front page paid for by my lovely followers and their generosity um we're gonna make this happen on my nails it's a triple gradient of multiple rainbows of different gradientness it's not the it's not good words um, but we did a little bit of testing. This is what the sponge ends up looking like. And it's 21 different colors and it's possibly moderately cursed as far as nail art goes. So we're only going to do it as accent nails. We'll be doing it on the ring finger and we'll do it on the thumb. And then the rest of the nails are going to be 
probably want to I mean gosh when I put it just like this I mean it does make me want to lean toward electrostatic doesn't it <sighs> what am I going to wear featured guest panda rainbows. thank you for the pride bits for the rainbows sibling thank you yeah we were playing with some other rainbow stuff the other day too and some of these are a little bit hard to see because they're like including the dark rainbow i still really like the way that dot here turned out and i think this rainbow one like probably would benefit from some creams in there but we would have to find the perfect orange cream which we did not find we didn't look a lot we looked a little bit Do I want to do a base color here? Like, I feel like I kind of don't. This is going to be so tricky. It's okay. We're only going to do it on a couple nails. It's going to be fine, you guys. I don't. I've been doing them, like, as a hobby and, like, YouTube tutorials for, like, a long time, though. Like, actually, like, when I think about it, like, I've been on YouTube for almost 13 years. My hair tie is coming out. Uh, hey Jay hello yeah I was kind of skeptical too I thought it might turn out a little bit muddy and in a, some places like it kind of is but I think we can resolve that I hope um I'm also still considering like I was saying like do I need I might need to do like a pre smoosh um in fact, I wonder if it would be worthwhile to, well, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Okay, wait. Trina with a gift sub to Apples. Trina, thank you so much. Apples, congratulations. Um, I was not the entire front page. Wait, did you see me? You say not the entire front page, but did you see me? Like, is it going to recommend me to people that already know about me? I feel like those are some of the people that may be more inclined to watch. Okay, no. This is a real scam. I'm sorry, you guys. I warned you. I warned you that it was the ultra super duper. Oh, wait, you saw me that. Wait, was it before or after you followed, Julia? <laughs> wait, that's why you're here. <laughs> wait, is this a true story? No. <laughs> that's okay. Wait, that's no, that's great. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay that's kind of like okay it's funny on the one hand it's fucked up on the other hand but also like it's working question mark I mean <laughs> live channels we think you'll like do I usually show up there you probably don't usually go to the, the home page any more than I do I imagine math <clears throat> The homepage is a weird thing because I think there is like a large segment of the user base that uses it a lot. You guys, thank you so much for the double duper super scam triple decker train. <laughs> Three, two, one, lift off. We did it. We're boosting the stream with 1700 recommendations boosting or boosted would it have got was it going up every level okay next time if that ever happens again i'm gonna pay far more attention to see if every level it goes up or what what the actual hell is going on <clears throat> yeah man mm. non-logged in browser are terrible probably just like the popular weird thing yeah it did go up every level oh you were paying attention jay thank you well i mean it's still to be clear it's still a scam train but like that's not too shabby that's not too shabby i mean 1700 people it was helpful to at least one of those people um but I mean, also, just like thank you for the train and the support. Support is always appreciated, even when it's not inside of a train, to be clear. Um, 
Also, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys get emotes? Did I just miss the message that emotes were being delivered or does the double super triple jacker scam train not deliver emotes? Or do you guys already have all of the emotes so there weren't any to be delivered? <clears throat> okay. I think since the boost train is over, gonna be time for me to take a small bathroom break <clears throat> yeah huh yeah I don't think anybody got an email though yes dwarf it says boost in progress oh cool should I not take a bathroom break while it's boosting stress stress twitch stress <laughs> It says boost and proc. Wait, where do you guys see that? I don't see it on my chat. Do I see it on my dashboard? <laughs> I'm gone. Wait, was that in response to the I need a bathroom break? Because if so, cruel, cruel. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, just switch to complete it. Okay. Run ads while it's boosted for that sweet ad revenue. I mean, I am going to take ads while I take a pee anyway. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, since it's a nail stream, we don't have the nail BRB done yet. No BRB reel while I'm gone. You can go look at it on my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for anybody who took a screenshot also. And, and thank you all again for the train. Yeah, I mean... There, there. I, I mean, there has to be some impact. They're not just. Come, I, I don't think Twitch is ever like completely pulling our legs. Just like you know, at least somewhat partially tugging in opposing directions and wish to fool you. Um, when we get back, we're gonna put that on some of my nails, not all of them. Um. Thank you, math. Uh, good luck if you are gonna do some things that may or may not involve a trombone. Um, and yeah, if anybody needs a, uh, a stretch break, drink break, snack break, any of those types of breaks, now would be a good time. And I'll be back shortly. Appreciate your patience. No tromboning, but you will do things. Okay. <laughs> coffee break yeah a little coffee break and uh i will i will run some ads while i'm gone too but you won't be missing anything all right thank you for your patience you guys
Thanks for your patience, everyone. So, okay, there's also a little voice that says one on each hand as far as base colors go. Sorry, I just like came right back and jumped into the thoughts that were already inside of my head. Hmm. Where is our latex? Latex. Also, sugar scrub, cuticles are happy. Staining is like mostly grown out. Almost my whole nail bed is grown out of staining. Um. <laughs> also a good question, son. <clears throat> also a good question. I mean, maybe I do the gradient nails first because once they're done, I'll have a better idea of what I want to put as the base color once I can actually see it on my nails. That's actually a really good thought. <gasps> Three days overdue. Company. I'm having a rough night of still being <coughs> pregnant. Three days overdue. Happy for some chill times. Flannel. That sounds uncomfy. I hope. I hope the time is soon. Did this one literally just. Okay, that one is very. Sponges are so weird. Like you go to just like get little crumbles off of them and sometimes they're just too delicate and they break. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> One beanie past or two beanie. Mm. Eleven beanie rather. Um, maybe I should do three just to be safe. I was gonna say I probably won't need more than two sponges, but maybe I should do three just to be safe. Do I want to... I guess these are pretty similar in length. It's the width that's gonna be the difference. So we want our sponges to be about the same length as this sponge. So when trimming sponges, you need really, really sharp scissors. You also need to not drop things all over the place if you can possibly help it. I cannot. God, I'm literally dropped it three times in a row. So since I know this is about the same width, I'm just going to use this as a reference. I found that cutting from the wide end makes a more even cut than cutting from the skinnier end, even though cutting from the skinnier end seemed more intuitive to me at first. Um, and just do it in one snip and you can get like a really clean cut. Oh, that's kind of... Gave me like a little bit of a curve. I don't love that. Maybe that'll be the backup sponge. I'm also trying like sometimes the sides like list more to one way than the other. Which side do I want to trim here? I think like that. Mm. 
like I kind of like using this as a guide but it's just kind of a little bit tricky to hold it so that I can actually also get a good cut that one's a little better also still just a little bit wiggly but not as much as the other one No, but these are like my newest scissors. Can you hear? Like they've got a very nice tight snip compared to like these are like the same kind of scissors. But they're... Can you hear the difference? Of course, these, these are titanium, I guess. You know what I mean? Like it's, it, can you hear how much sharper they are? But like, can you hear how much sharper they are? Um, and like, as an example, I don't know. Will these ones even cut a sponge nicely? Look at, see this? That's what you don't want to happen. That's why we're not using these. It's not like this is a magical sponge. Those are just shitty scissors. Well, they're not shitty. They can cut other things. That's the difference. Yeah, I mean, and these don't have a problem cutting, like I said, regular shit, but sponges are different. Yeah, well, and that's true because like paper and stuff can dull scissors. Like if you have like cloth scissors, like don't ever cut paper with those. I'm not super strict with these because I mean, these are just like, they're not an expensive pair of scissors. If they ever got to the point where they weren't doing sponges neatly for me, um, I'd probably just switch them. Also, I just noticed like what a not straight job I did on the rest of this but it doesn't need to be straight there it just needs to be somewhat straight here and in fact I might even do one more because I don't like how not straight that one is um yeah I use this one on my on my yarn too if I need to cut my yarn I mean I'm not doing anything fancy with yarn but yeah you need you know some decent some decent scissors for certain things yeah, I, I really like them, and I want to say, like, I don't remember how cheap they were. I mean, they're not, like, two, three dollars cheap, but they weren't, like, oh, my God. Because, like, if you start looking at, like, some scissors, I mean, scissors are like knives. You can find some really expensive uh, scissors out there, especially, like, uh, barber scissors or stuff like that. That's a nice straight cut. I like that one. Maybe I can get one more like that. Yeah, it, yeah, that's a good plan, I think, Torn. You just keep them, like, in with the sewing. Like, have a sewing basket or a sewing, sewing kit or whatever. Ooh, yeah, cutting into a pin would be rough. I think, you know, like, a sharpener is probably worth. I mean, I feel like that could be a good investment. All right, let me see if I can get a good, one more good cut on this. Please hold still. Ah, a little bit of a wiggle. I'm not going to keep cutting sponges. I'm just going to take the two with the least of a wiggle. Which are... Uh, I think these two they're quite very equal similar sizes too I mean which they should be I use the same thing to measure both of them um, I can maybe do a little like that straighten it out a tad bit more this is also the one that's like you know what let me actually Cause that's gonna bother me when I'm holding it. Okay, got two good sponges and two backup sponges, and I think I do want to do. Do I do I want to do a starter smoosh? Is one blade of a scissor a sis? 
Sounds like a Google question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Food scissors. Kitchen scissors. This is a little bit lopsided too. Wow. I almost cut it deep enough to fuck up my design. In fact, I kind of did. Gosh, this was the nicest one. Do I recut it? Do I just leave that dangling there? It's far enough to the side we probably won't even use that part? Question mark. I'm gonna just trim it a little bit more. I was just trying to make it nicer to grab because it was so lopsided. <sighs> um. No question mark. I think no. Cause like I don't think the dark or the OGs need a base color, and I don't think a base color would be beneficial to the pastels. The pastels just need a third layer sponging. So we're probably going to do a layer of all three sponged, a layer of two sponged, and a layer of three sponged. Hi, Mr. Bane. Should we move this since we didn't end up doing any of this? secure there hi yeah yes come on this nice baby mm, one nice mr. Bane he's all cuddly yes there's nail polish up there you're not not favorite thing sir did you come here just to get fur all over Just in time for the manicure. Get Benny for all over the world. Yeah, the wiggly rainbow where waits another day. Hi, sweetheart. He's a very good boy. You gonna give us some purrs? Are you happy, Bane? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can you hear him? gonna oh no that came loose thought we were gonna get oh there we are a little bit of beanie face a little bit of beanie face is that your notebook now that notebook belongs to beanie what are you doing here buddy go back over there Mm. 
Can you settle down? Take a little nappy nap? Okay, I'm gonna have this page, this back of this page, blank page, to uh, do a little bit of stamping out on. <clears throat> And then we'll see. We don't want to overload it, but also if we overload it a little bit, then we can do multiple nails without having multiple rounds of polish. I think I'm going to go with no base color. I may regret it. I may regret it, but we're going to we're going to see what we can do. <clears throat> Sleepy lurk. All right, Bale. Thank you for hanging out. All right, I think you guys are in a good spot. Let's, uh... Let's actually do like this. Get some acetone out. Uh, we've got both of our base coats here. We're doing nail art, so I'm gonna layer with Peely Base again. Hey, Music Al, welcome back. We are just about to start the actual manicure. I'm kind of nervous about this. Because it does, like, it. there is a potential for it to get muddy. But, like, hopefully it's all good. Hopefully everything is fine. <clears throat> Triple rainbow gradient, all of them at the same time. We need a better name than that. Color picker gradient, Photoshop gradient, triple gradient gradient. Is it a triple gradient gradient or a double gradient gradient? Because it's gradient this way and it's gradient that way. I guess that's just a double gradient, but it's triple rainbow. Triple rainbow, double gradient? I mean, that's kind of what it is. Triple rainbow, double gradient. Um... I just finished cleaning off my nails here. I can show you the tester. <laughs> that does help. That's on my list. That's on my list of errands to run. Um, cake batter appeals to me. We'll do, we're, we're going to do another layer of pastel at some point. Probably, probably a layer of all three, a layer of pastel and OG, a layer of all three is the current plan. Rainbow all the things. Okay, but actually, but so like we have gradient this way. We also have gradient this way. Kind of gradient that way. I don't, I don't know. fine <clears throat> starting out no that car probably is still audible okay starting out with clean dry nails we're going to begin with a base coat combo today i am using a combination of hollow taco peely base and topping that with hollow taco long lasting base Rainbow gradient trifecta because trifecta is a fun word. I mean, I can't say that you're wrong about that. Trifecta is a fun word. Also, we're just doing accent nails for anybody that just came in. They were like, Claire, that's a lot, a lot of gradients you got in mind there. 
uh, accent nails. <laughs> so we only have to do it four times, not ten times. Although four is also a lot, but it's not as many as ten. Potato. Hi. Uh, it helps extend the wear summer like a like actually a lot because otherwise like I, t I mean I still do you know, on occasion tend to get frustrated with peelies but like it extends the wear surprisingly a lot I wish I had discovered it years ago Like generally, if I just use peel off, I consider myself lucky to get a third day without without losing any peelies. And a couple of the manicures that I've done layering them, I've been able to wear for a full week without losing any peelies. The confetti dotacure was a little bit of an exception, but I wasn't surprised because decals with peel off base coat are just almost always uh don't wear as nicely as just like regular regular nail art with peel off base and actually like i said once i counted it that wasn't even a short wear five days including some epic gaming might i add gaming always puts a lot of stress on the thumbs i think because you know it's like you're pressing and the nail is flexing a little bit as you're pressing mm. <sighs> Oof. four is a lot but not as much as ten yeah i mean am i wrong mm. An Admiral's dress blues on a potato. Mm. Yeah, I think gel polish also, um, partly my, like, again, like, I'm not a pro. I'm a, I'm a dedicated hobbyist. Uh, if you, if you want to go that, that, you know, if, with, a, with a name, but like, gel generally is less flexible than a uh, plain regular nail polish so i think that's one of the reasons why sometimes peel off doesn't work as well for it um different brands of peel off definitely work a little bit differently also like for gel polish i really like madame glam's peel off um but i've had trouble using that with regular polish like it almost has got too much adhesion for a peel off um but for gel polish like it's it's strong enough to keep it on and then like also still take it off mm. <laughs> you know two-year-olds whose mind would be blown mm. is the builder gel more flexible yeah i'm not like gel is probably like my least knowledgeable nail area Dwarf, I make money on Twitch and YouTube as a professional gargler. You see, the nail art is just on the side. I I am a professional content creator. I am not a licensed nail tech or nail artist. Camera, please. I'm not a professional nail artist. I'm not a nail tech. I do not have a lot of the actual technical, factual, educational nail knowledge that a licensed nail professional would have. I'm an unlicensed professional. How about that? <laughs> it sounds so sketchy. <laughs> like if you go to a professional, do you want to go to the licensed professional or the unlicensed professional? <laughs> Being an artist does not require a license. Okay, look here, musical. Dwarf Tech University. 
reminds me of a, oh what was it the one that's got like a little jammy beat to it I don't think it's called the name that it used to be called when it had the little jammy beat in the 90s oh, some local community college I don't remember I don't know I just like I mean there are professional nail artists out there both like in content creation and otherwise and I just feel like you know that's worthy I mean not that I'm not worthy of recognition but that that's like worthy of recognition I don't want to like step on anybody's toes as they say or I don't know like just I don't want to represent myself as something I'm not you guys like yeah I mean I do my own nails but like I'm not a doer of nails like of other people just a just a just a dedicated hobbyist who is definitely still learning I feel like nails are like hollow night like I'll never I'll never stop learning I was gonna be some kind of new shit but yeah I pre I not that I don't appreciate you guys also like being supportive of me and stuff you guys are awesome I just like not not from like an imposter syndrome place just from like an actual like i don't know i mean yes i get it to like the artist part but like the the nail part <clears throat> for water marbling yeah I'm almost surprised nail techs don't offer like some sort of water marbling or something. I guess maybe it's because it's a, a regular polish technique and it's there's so much uh, room for error. Like they don't they don't have time to do the amount of testing that goes into a water marble every time somebody walks in wanting a water marble. Need to turn people around in a swift and timely fashion <laughs> a professor of nail art oh my god no Do you know how smart professors are? No, I'm sorry. I'm thinking you may have me confused with somebody else, perhaps another professor that you know. Wait, whoa, Naki, that sounds a little bit more fast. A little bit monka. <laughs> Being smart is not a prerequisite. I mean, true. Okay. I am not going to go over every single color <laughs> it's it's not happening um do i want to show the prep smoosh or do i just want to start with a dirty sponge I, I really do think the prep smoosh is the right move. 
to get things absorbing properly into the sponge. Show the prep? Yeah. I guess I just, okay. Where did I decide we're gonna put it like here? Gotta keep my, maybe I'll put it right here. Benny, can I put this here? Are you cool with that? Make sure this is nice and dry before I start. Oh, also, I suppose I could uh, I could apply some latex here to be drying. Let's do that. <clears throat> Once I've got my base coat applied, I'm going to go ahead and apply some liquid latex around the nails that are going to have the accent gradient. And the latex, if anybody's like, wait, what the heck, what is that? Uh, this is going to help with the cleanup so that most of the uh, over sponging we can just peel right away from the skin. It's optional. I'm trying to get like that upper little spot right there. Okay. and generally don't need as much protection just like for a gradient as I would for uh, like for example a water marble and if you're allergic to latex you can use tape like I use tape and water marble just because I find it easier to combine them um, then your fingers don't get stuck together um because you're using more latex than you would for just like a gradient um but tape is always an option hey melrose welcome yeah we are just we're prepping our accent nails with some latex and we're gonna do the accent nails first because i kind of haven't decided what color the other nails are gonna be and hopefully once I see it, oh, I got a little tiny bit of latex on the nail there. We'll wait till it's dry and just peel it off. Um, I'm hoping that once I see the gradient on the nail, it'll be like, oh, obviously, type of a feeling. Otherwise, I might have to have you guys vote and see if I get mad at the results or not to know what I really want. <laughs> Head it out, Jay. Thank you for stopping through. Kalia, welcome on in. Hello. Some people are really good with latex. I am not one of those people. I am going to do the whole tip of polo right thumb, I think. Just in case. like good enough to do latex and not need any cleanup when you're done like that's that's witchcraft to me people think water marbling is witchcraft no putting on latex that accurately is witchcraft and this is not like a sold for nail art latex this is a latex body paint that you can get by the tub small tub but still a tub on amazon i want to complain again about how am i supposed to tell when this is dry i miss my pearl my pearl finish yeah it, it is it is I mean the pearl was also clean 
I, you know, the part that really makes me mad is that I emailed that company directly and asked them why their prices were so fucked up on their website and they never even answered me. So now I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to use your latex at all. But also, like, it's good latex. Like, you know, that that expression, cut off your nose to spite your face. Like, sometimes it's really not in your best interest to, to follow through on all your angry inclinations. It's just so dumb to me, though. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, the color that I used to have is no longer available on Amazon, but it's available directly from the manufacturer, and the Amazon listing is from the manufacturer, so why the fuck isn't the color I want on Amazon? Danny. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, and Brie, hello. Um, <laughs> coming in with the raid. Izzy, thank you for the shout out. I think that would probably work fine in some of them. This, the white is very opaque. So the thing I really liked about the pearl is it went on very similar to this, but then as it dried, it got sheer and like pearlescent. Yes, I am. Much funny, I am. Uh, a beauty one. Welcome on in. Also fanatic here. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are waiting on latex to dry. And then we're going to do this on accent nails that's the plan it might go horribly it's a gradient involving 21 polishes um i'm really nervous about it we have we have good sponges our sponges are cut to size our, our sponges are cut to size like uh which 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 end do I want like the slightly curved end on? I don't know. You know, sponge sponge is the accurate length of the nail. It's a little bit wider, but that's okay. We can work with that. I think maybe I'll put the curved end at the at the cuticle. So yeah, we're gonna be basically just like dotting a little tiny small triple yeah mel triple rainbow um you know i wonder if they sell the, this body paint i bought latex from the halloween store one time it was a huge jar it was like not even a jar it was like a jug okay that was like not dry um this one's almost dry though it peeled so badly like all latex is not the same like i don't know what is different up in there but all latex is not the same have a safe trip musical <laughs> uh yeah liquid latex fashions i think do i have the jar is around here somewhere but i don't know exactly where liquid latex fashions and i think the the color i used to have was metallic pearl or pearl metallic one of those they don't carry the pearl on their website anymore either wait it's not under pearls though son it's under metallics for some reason it's not a it or, or was it vice versa i don't i don't remember why would you disconsider discon disconsider discontinue it's the best one it's the best one yeah and it comes in a lot of other colors and if i wasn't like doing a tutorial i probably wouldn't care i would probably have purple i just feel like white is nice and neutral for whatever kind of nail art i'm doing and not distracting to the eyeball like why is your latex such a weird color oh, okay What we're going to do is we're going to lay out the colors. The first layer is going to be uh the first layer is going to be the uh what what do I want to say the preparation layer? Preparation H. No, it's preparation polish. Do I want which I'm visualizing. D 
do I want light on the, I want light on the left and dark on the right but from this vantage or from this vantage probably from this vantage left right left left right and I want purple at the tip and we're going to be sponging like this so it's going to be light light to dark red to purple so it's actually it's actually going to be like upside down to what I was doing not actually backwards just the way I'm looking at it is backwards like in order to actually like stamp it on my nail it, it's gonna okay I just like laying that there for my own reference like that wait they have it on there again oh my god yeah like a priming layer but I'm not priming it on the nail I'm priming it on a piece of paper I'm priming the sponge to accept the polish and blend the polish a little bit more because some of the testing the the straight up first first layer of the sponging was like getting a little bit money mud muddy y'all so yeah maybe i'll just say i'm priming the sponge i almost wish i could prime it with something else but I don't think priming it with like a neutral color would be a good idea. And I also don't think that priming it with, with clear would be a good idea. I think I want to prime it with the full rainbow, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Because if I use another color, then like that could be weird. And clear doesn't dry the same. Even if it's not quick dry top coat, clear polish does not dry the same as colored polish. Um... So I think, I think that's the strat. All right, are you ready, you guys? <sighs> okay. We're gonna do it, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Yes, yes, exactly, that's the problem. $45 shipping. Guess I'm rounding up, I don't care. $45 for shipping for something that's like this, this big? okay uh, excuse me excuse me <clears throat> how do I want to explain this I want to be succinct and not rambly and wordy the light I don't because the, some of the hollow does have like glittery speckle particles I don't want to do that because sometimes those can sit on the sponge and I think that will impact even the colors that come after them or has the potential to $12 no their shipping is free on Amazon from the vendor if you can ship it free on Amazon why can't you ship it free from your own website and if you can have it on your website why aren't you selling it on Amazon Ashley reminder to mute alerts if not done already you're very smart I should put that somewhere like down here because like you guys still get to you guys still get to hear the alerts and you guys should still get to see the alerts without them being god does it really need to be that big maybe we can make it like a little bit smaller whoa like that That's centered, centered enough. <clears throat> yeah, it literally, see that's the thing, it literally doesn't make any sense. They offer it free on Amazon. No, no realistic shipping in the world costs that much to ship. It's a four ounce tub. So it's like this, this round ish and like that tall right it's not huge 
yeah they're local well not local but like they're not out of country <sighs> okay we'll just explain we'll just explain it briefly Since this gradient involves so many colors, I actually cut the sponge down smaller than usual so that I have a better visual cue of where I'm going to be working. And after my testing, what I discovered is this also works a little better if I prime the sponge with the colors that are going to be involved. So I'm actually going to do all the colors, dab it off on a piece of paper, and then move on to sponging on my nails. Um, the first one I'm going to put down is actually like a marker for the center and then for the rest of it I'm going to be working from the darkest shade to the lightest shade and I'm using all three of Hollow Taco's rainbow collections. That still turned out pretty wordy. Wait, I'm doing it backwards. We just talked about this. Okay, well, I'll just do it backwards, backwards then. I'll just, which is not backwards at all. It's the same way I did it the first time, and then I'll turn it around to go on the nail. Um, oh, wait, not that color. This one. Pay attention, self. You already did not pay attention, so pay attention. And I'm trying to be very small. We don't want to go all the way to the edge of the sponge. The sponge is the correct length. The sponge is not the correct width. Okay. So we got to be very mindful. Very, very mindful. Okay. Blues, purple, magenta. Then we prep. That was a lot. Um, and then we get to the nail. Okay. Mm. Y'all, I hope this works. I need for it to be cute on the nail. I need it in my life. Okay. We're just gonna do like that, right? And then we have it like this on here. And then I think actually, it's easier to work from this way because the the dark is on the uh, the side. Okay, we did have a little bit of spread. I think I'm actually gonna work. Like this. Like now that I have the middle marked, I don't think I need to start in the middle. <gasps> Whoa, that got tipped over. It's fine. It's not leaking yet. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. 
All right, so make this end just like a slight bit wider so it keeps up with the bottom, but also not too wide, especially the center. It's okay if the edges go wide because that'll just go off the side of the nail, but we want all three shades to be visible on each nail. So we need the center, the OG, to not get too wide. Okay. Y'all. What if, what if this is absurd on the nail? You know, if it's absurd on the nail, guess what? It's just nail polish, right? It's fine. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Everything is good and fine. That was kind of a lot. Just like keeping like such a super small amount on the brush is tricky. Two more colors, or two more rows of colors, rather. And then is the moment of truth. I might dab a little bit more at the other end again. Should I? Should I just go in? It's messy, but guess what? It's fine so far. <laughs> we lost a huge chunk of the sponge. Okay, now it's less fine. It's so less fine. Oh no, I picked a bad sponge. I don't know if this is recoverable. When I say I lost a chunk of the sponge. <laughs> Deal you know, what the fuck? What in the world? You can't even. Okay, look, can I possibly. It's like this. It's, what the, it's like a chunk. It's he, like, okay, look, look, this is a hole. This is a hole now. This right here is a hole. There's not a sponge there. The sponge is there. <sighs> this was not one of the problems I thought was going to happen. This would have been good. I actually could have had it even a little bit wider. We discussed the problem with the pastel. We're going to do an extra layer on the pastel to be... Oh my god, this was not... Not what I thought was going to be the problem. Top 10 anime trail. No! I bought a whole new bag. I mean, not super recently, but like... Oh, fucking, 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 fucking sponges. I mean, I should, I'm just seeing like how much there is. Like this is an absurd amount. <sighs> it's 
Sesh B will fix it. No. So the thing is, I can't continue with this sponge. And technically the layout is the same and I should be able to just go to another sponge and like do the same thing. But like also like, no. Because it'll, they'll be like slightly off differences. Sesh V won't be any bit. I mean sometimes sponges are like that that's really bad though like that's that's bad okay the end of that sponge to a new one I don't well yeah no I don't think so also wait then it would be backwards though no cause then it would be backwards do I want new latex or can I just deal with this latex also oh my god I'm like doubting like this whole plan now that I've never had a sponge do me like that like that bad like actually literally that bad <sighs> I mean I guess I do want to inverse it on the other hand but that still doesn't help with this hand I, I can believe it, but also I can't believe it. I can't believe it was that bad. And the thing is, too, like... The, the luck, the lack of luck... I wish you guys could re there actually focus camera. Come on. The hole is so deep. Yeah, I don't want to do clear polish cuz that dries weirdly. I don't want to do I don't want to do a color preparation layer or a clear preparation layer because I feel like color could impact the rainbow and clear just doesn't dry properly and it gets really gummy no this is a new bag you guys this is like full the elderly sponges are I don't know they're still around here somewhere like I didn't throw them out the intent was to use them for practice or like testing but this is the this is this is the new bag. This is the new bag. Moist water. I've never sponged with damp water damp sponges before. No, I did get new ones and I did tell you guys. I mean, I could, I could go on Amazon right now and see how old these are. <laughs> Lots of people swear by it. But has anybody in this chat right now ever sponged with the water moist sponge? I mean, maybe they were elderly in the warehouse. Maybe that's just a janky sponge. How do you get it from being too wet? How do you get it from like not being weird? I mean, maybe it's like layering base coats and I've just been sleep this whole time, foolishly. A 
mass failure. Okay, that is not. <laughs> like, it's it's not all of them. I mean, we did a whole bunch of layers with this one. Look, at this one's perfectly fine. It didn't even really poop. Like, small, like, it didn't even lose any small pieces of itself, right? Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this to dry so that I can put the next layer of base coat. Obviously, I'm just like taken aback by my lack of luck. I'm gonna need to trim another sponge. I'm gonna need to like. Oh my god, dude! I mean, how I did have one. So like, when you pull the sponges out too, right? They're like, you know, connected to each other. It's like you pull them apart. And sometimes that leaves like a little bit at the edges. So you're like there, right? Am I not supposed to pull them apart? Am I supposed to cut them apart or something? But usually they just tear, right? But so you get like a little bit of this stuff at the edge. So usually I'll like, you know, that sort of a movement. I don't know what you want to call that. Whatever. And I had that other one where I did that and the sponge like ripped. And I put that one to the side. I didn't use it. I, I just, I'm kind of baffled. Oh, like, yeah, okay, I understand what you mean. I think I've had some like that before. I don't know. Like, I like these sponge. You guys remember, we did, like, a testing of, like, multiple different types of sponge for me to find the kind of sponge that I actually, I actually get the best gradient results with. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this one seems fine. A lot of them seem fine. That one was very, very not fine. Like, super, super not fine. Also, usually, like, you get that, like, right away. I thought that if I had one that was very crumbly that I would catch it on the prep smoosh you know what I mean I thought I would catch it on the prep smoosh okay I cut two more like nice ones This one's kind of crooked. Maybe I should cut one more. I don't like it. Like, this This seems fine. It's not, like, shedding when I mess with it or anything. Yes. My strat is cross my fingers. That is accurate. That's That's what's happening right now.
in fact as far as youtube is concerned it never happened i'm gonna keep that first part as part of the first part probably probably maybe not i don't know i'm leaving this latex even though the latex is not perfectly clean anymore and uh yeah we are we are moving we are moving about our business you guys this is my fault this is my fault This is my fault. Do you understand? The long lasting base is a sticky base. It's Stuck to it and grabbed it. That is my working theory. I just thought about it as I put it back on there. I'm like, wait a goddamn minute here. Wait, self, self. No, but I mean, I mean, it doesn't feel that sticky, but like, why else is this one fine and that one is not fine? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm making up excuses, pulling, pulling, pulling theories out of my ass. I don't know. I don't like that cut. I hate these sponges. I hate everything. (sighs) Usually when I do a gradient, I do a base color. And what do I do on top of that base color, everyone? Sesh Vite. Guess what? Sesh feet is not sticky. <sighs> you think you guys think it's just the sponge? Okay, I have I have I have multiple thoughts. Here here are my thoughts in no particular order. Go back again with crossed fingers and a wish and a hope and a prayer. Add a layer of sesh veet to keep it from pulling on the base color, base coat. Add a base color and or a layer of sesh veet to help. Also, I forgot that I got some latex on one of these nails and I was supposed to clean it off once it was dry. (sighs) Also, how do I narrate? Like, do I just stick in? Oh, P.S. We're going to just add a base coat. Don't mind. Or a top coat. Don't mind me. <laughs> Fresh feet. Yeah. I mean, really, it was just kind of because I didn't think they needed it. I 
mean, I think with different sponges, your mileage may vary too. Do I just add a layer of sesh beat and don't say anything in the tutorial? Like, oh, this is just the base coat. <laughs> just m mention it later on. Oh, P.S. I added some sesh beat to for for reasons. say about this possibly turning into a six hour odyssey again mm. what if it doesn't work well after the sesh then what am I gonna do Ooh, ah. uh. we are adding a layer of sesh The secret. Your favorite YouTuber is lying to you. See behind the scenes where they expose themselves. Non sexual. I if I add a if I add a base color, I definitely will add sesh feet also, though. Cause I've had bad experience with that. Pulling up the base color, which is always like super frustrating. I just didn't think I needed to do it when there wasn't even a base color involved. Also, I mean, you could use like something else and just make sure that it's fully dry, but imagine having patience. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, maybe non-sexual is not the best for the uh, clickbait. Maybe, maybe the correct title is sexual question mark, question mark, exclamation mark. Exclamation point, exclamation mark. Can you, can you call it that? <laughs> I don't believe it was the sponge though. We did a sponge. We did more than this sponge. We did multiple sponges. This one was also fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm so angry and nervous and frustrated and salt. It's like a little bit salty. It's that nail art salt. That's a special, special kind of salt. Okay, you guys. <laughs> You are not quite dry. Let me like, like not be quite so impatient. Of course, it's gonna take me a while to prep the sponge and then re redo the sponge. All right. I'll record this, but I think I'll I might possibly keep the initial take I don't know we'll see
Okay. Move forward with confidence. Confidence. What did I say last time? What could possibly go wrong? Well, turns out that. But also. Oh, you know what else might also hmm, help with the opacity of the. Oof, the opacity of the pastels is. Oh, that's quite a bit. Maybe once I have the the outline, so to speak. Like, this helps, I think, keep it laid out straighter to go one set of colors at a time. But maybe once I have this outlined, I go back to the... Uh, all darks, all OGs, all pastels at a time. Because I'll already have the outline down. We'll see. Try to keep this straight. I almost wonder okay now I just thought of something else but like I mean it's a little bit too late and probably also it's not a great idea can you like draw with pencil on a sponge and if you did would that like transfer at all or could I like have like drawn myself a little grid what is that even supposed to be is that a cool thing or a lewd thing my chat is wide if it was lewd I didn't even get to see it God, fucking idiot trolls. You're dumb. If you're gonna do something like that, at least make it cool. Okay. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Uh oh, wait, was that, guys, <laughs> is that because I was on the front page? <laughs> I feel like this is not. Can you guys hear the train tooting in the background? Choo choo. Okay. I feel like that dark red on the edge is not wanting to sink in a lot. All right, OG colors. Not too strongly. But not too weakly either. Okay. 
any do we have any like reformed trolls in chat can somebody give me insight into the troll thought process like literally what do you think is gonna happen was that a penis was it supposed to make me cry like what what was happening there somebody typed a picture of a penis in my chat mm, cry okay okay you guys we're getting close we're getting close 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 oh that felt heavy heavy handed on that light blue Okay. <sighs> okay, we got a slight turd. It may be the fucking sponges. I'm going to see if I can just like go through it though. I'm just going to keep keep it moving. not as bad as last time do I have enough left over to get anything on the thumb I shouldn't have done that yeah it's not just the sponge but it's the sponge I have some additional thoughts, but I don't think I can say them right now without yelling. <sighs> like, do I keep this or do I get rid of it? I mean, in theory, that one's fine. It's got a couple little small poops. I, do, I do, okay.
the question is why wasn't this happening during testing okay that's the question we start with what is the question what is the answer question mark question mark is it was i moving faster during testing is the polish drying too much on the sponge because i'm trying to be so careful to keep it in a narrower spot now than i was when i was doing testing <sighs> jr hi i i think that may play a part honestly but like oh Like, I'm going pretty fucking fast, as fast as I can without being sloppy, because I don't want to be sloppy on the one that's actually going on my nails. I'm okay. Are you guys okay? How are you doing? Having a night? Having a nice night? Everybody having a great time? We do it again, except we don't fuck up. That's where we go from here. We do it again, but we don't fuck up. Okay, you guys. You might be like, Colette, you know, maybe you should come up with a different plan. Or maybe like, Colette, like, you know, you don't always have to do a tutorial. You could just do like a plain manicure. And that would be really cute. Like, you could pick whatever color is like your fucking favorite color right now. You could just do that instead. No, we're doing it again. <sighs> it's like the speed running gag, yeah, kind of. Oh. Uh... Yeah. So what is what is the improved strat? Why is there also like is there like a glom of yeah. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. What do we say everyone? Fine and good. Good and fine. I'm I'm just I'm thinking thoughts. I'm qu I'm quietly thinking thoughts for a moment. Also, I mean in the testing, we did multiple testing, right? Where's the other tester that didn't fuck up? Both of those are bad. Not that one. This one. We were going faster. These are the two testers that did not disintegrate. These are the two manicure sponges that did disintegrate. What do we see is the difference here? Pay no attention to how shaky my hand is that I can't hold these fucking sponges straight. L narrower less use of polish which was part of the plan because we're trying to keep it small and tight but that's also leading to it drying out more which is making it stickier which is making the sponge disintegrate more are the sponges possibly partly trash yes are the sponges 100 percent the problem for this no Oh god no, Wiggly Rainbow is decals and I'm not. I'm not. Plus I wanted the Wiggly Rainbow as a whole manicure, not as an accent. 
plus this will work i will make it work the biggest hole on both of these is in the oldest polish aka the driest polish the green if i'm confident it doesn't really matter though which one is the oldest one i just need to move faster i just need to move faster that's the solution i'm going with that's the solution question mark also i need to cut another um it's it's like i mean okay Where's the one that's really bad? It's not though. It's like in the middle. It's kind of hard to see partic Hello camera, please. Particularly there. Hello camera. You want to just That one is really obvious though. Of course, also a chunk came out of the blue and purple. Yeah, the middle is the braids. Which are also the ones I'm trying to go easiest on because I don't want it to be too thick in the middle of the nail. I just had an idea that might be a horrible idea. Would you like to hear it? Oh, on a scale of one to 10, how bad is this idea? Mm, like eight, I think it's like eight. It's, it, but but if it works then it is a 10 on the scale of brilliance right it's only it's only a horrible idea if it's if it fails well we we're talking about okay we we're talking about wetting the sponge and like people are like man like water is like sketchy like wait also musical i saw you say you had tried it you did you had tried it once what was your one experience had you blocked it from your mind from being horrible Excuse me. The thought is <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's either brilliant or it's just like beyond foolish. What if I dampen the sponge with polish thinner? Somebody, somebody please tell me not to do that or maybe you I <laughs> I don't think so I mean polish doesn't dissolve the sponge to be clear I think what's happening here is it's just getting so sticky from being dry that it's just like the sponge is good unless you like really pull on it hard and it's just so sticky that it's pulling on it hard mm. better than you expected does that but does that just mean you had really low expectations dark plus og og plus pastel og plat pat dark plus og og plus pastel pastel plus og og plus dark are you saying for the different accent nails or are you saying to test all those things? I'm not doing more testing. Except for live on my literal fingers. Dark 
don't like that cut, but I can deal with it. It's the least of my problems with this shit. Honestly. Yeah, no, not acetone. Polish thinner. thinking i'm sorry like it's i know it's not ideal to get this quiet on stream i'm just <sighs> trying not to go on a fucking tirade here I have more thoughts. I will share them with you after I apply this latex that needs to get drying again. I test things and everything is fine in the testing and then I go to make it a real thing and then it's like haha you thought oh there's a snag you get out of my latex latex goober Take one of these sponges that I didn't like. Let's take this little dish here. Let's put out it's like a couple like one, two, three drops. It's like barely damp. Okay. We're not doing the whole rainbow. I'm just going to do greens. Because they seem to be the problem and just because. Now let's pretend we did the other ones also. Like how long would be a reasonable amount of time to wait to pretend like this we're, we're like taking to let this dry? How long am I taking? Am I taking 30 seconds? Am I taking 10 seconds per polish? Am I taking like two minutes? Do we wait two minutes to see if this stamps nicely still? Yeah, I don't think it will. See, the thing with thinner is, I mean, thinner doesn't do anything bad. Thinner's just moist. I don't know how much long I don't I wasn't I haven't been keeping track of how long I waited maybe I should also be like flexing it a little bit to get some of like the inside juices going maybe I should have done all of them it's really hard like and make a make a decent like testing situation if I'm not testing the actual number of the actual polishes but I guess this should give us an idea of whether it's feasible at all a train hello 
I'm having polish rage. See, those are still quite moist. Is it because I didn't wait that long though? Or is it because of the, is it because of the thinner? I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna wait even longer on the second coat. Actually, I guess I should be doing dark to light, like I said, but I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I've probably got to be taking at least two minutes on the application, right? Wait a minute, I can answer this question. How long are these? Hold on here. How... Hold on. How long... That's maybe taking even longer than I think it is. Well, of course, that's... Okay, that one's eight minutes. That one's seven and a half minutes. So that's application prep. Second application disaster. So probably around three minutes each. <sighs> Beanie is a cutie. He's being very tolerant of the uh, notebook also. Yeah. Thinner can bring back, even like if you have like the driest, crustiest polish that's just like dried into the bottom of the bottle, like thinner can bring it back. Which like should be good in this instance, but like how long can it keep it? Like I don't want to make it super wet, so can I keep it moist without it getting super wet? Got like another minute to wait. I need to be. Yeah. We might have such fun if I ever in the whole entire world get around to swatching my collection. Also, maybe I should concentrate on... Of course, that would be doing two different things at once. Like, should I... The colors that I'm loading on earlier, should I apply more so that they don't dry as quickly? Um, also, I'm watching the time on OBS... I'm gonna see like after another minute yeah I've brought back some very thick ones I haven't brought back any completely dried ones but I do have some completely dried ones why do you have completely dried nail polish clip well you see reasons also it's kind of interesting like these I noticed as I stamped them off of the sponge not with actually the stamper that like they weren't even like the test ones were. I think it really does have to do with loading the polish. If this doesn't work well, we'll see. Are we winning, Potato? No. No, see, Beanie ditched us. We're losing. We're losing, Potato. Thinner is not the answer. Those are chonks. They came out of the OG and the dark. But I'm still fairly certain that they did. Because they were dried. Not like I don't think it's the polish disintegrating the sponge completely. Oh, it does definitely seem to be a worse problem on that side though. But it's not just the OG. It's all or it's not just the dark, it's also the OG. But literally none of our tests had that problem. So we just we just need to work faster. 
we we just need to work faster i think that's the only answer the the sponge can't handle it if it gets too dry Okay. <sighs> like how much how much faster could I possibly have been going during the testing than I'm going during the manicure? Slower during testing, you mean, son? Yeah, I don't think so. I Well, I think I was going faster also because I just wasn't being as careful with the placement because it was only testing. All right, we, we go again. We try again. We, we cross our fingers and we go again. Quickly. We go again quickly. All right. Center. Dark. Oh, that's so much. Light. That's completely going to obscure the green. We can maybe fix it in the second layer, though. Oh, my God. Speed. Speed above all question mark speed above all just go quickly 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 I'm definitely going faster. I feel now now it feels like a fucking speed run. Whoa. Whoa. That purple is just like running into the blue. This is, you know, maybe I'm going too fast. Maybe we're going just slightly too fast. Can I... And do this. And... Okay. That's more even. Right? Alright, speed... Once again, speed. That is not enough. Speed. far more glomming than precision going on here glomming okay be careful with the purple don't overwhelm the blue again
cross your fingers get ready get ready y'all please cross your fingers for me it's clean it's clean i repeat it's clean all right do it again just as fast for the thumb Okay, we are in turbo sponging mode. I do not like this mode. Mm. Wow, Jesus. Like, I don't have the control that I want to have here. I don't. I don't. We are accomplishing speed. But at what price? that green did not get enough. Should I add another dab of green? Yes. Okay. We're gonna do a couple more layers. And we're just going to hope that it turns out okay. Continuing with the speed. Sorry, chat. I can't stop to chat with you right now. The turbo mode is the mode that, whoa, is required. It really is just the speed. God, this is this is I don't like this this is not what I thought I'd signed up for I don't like it no it's okay it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be cool and good worth it Everything's gonna be worth it in the end. Christine will like it. Maybe YouTube will even like it. I see chat moving. I just, I can't, I can't look at you right now, chat. Please know you're in my thoughts. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna dab that off there. We're gonna do another round on the thumb and then we're gonna think about life. And if we want to do a third layer. This is why you don't give up, you guys. This is why you gotta keep pushing. <laughs> Inspirational. Really though, if you can do it in your testing and you get to the manicure and it doesn't work, something is different it's really easy to get mad and be like oh fuck this like absolutely fuck this like that's how I felt but we took a moment we collected ourselves we asked the question and we found an answer right and now we are speed running sponging Mm -hmm. 
and we had a couple incorrect assumptions along the way we did not answer the question correctly the first time i actually literally bamed it on the sticky base i did that also i do if anybody's like colette weren't you going to do a layer that was not all three yes but the problem there is then the one that you're not layering that section is just sitting there getting dry and given our recent discoveries that is not a good idea huh piece I'm leaving it the pastels are light guess what they're fucking pastels do I do a third coat chat yes or no third coat tell me now do, do I do I do a third coat the pastels are really light no no okay okay there's another little spongy piece here Can I get that? I maybe should leave this alone. It caused a little tiny hole. It's fine. I'll stop. I'm not, okay, I'll stop. I'm gonna polish surgery on that little hole, but I'm not gonna do another layer of sponging. that's sloppy oh god it's stuck on my thumb it's stuck on my latex thumb on the other hand <sighs> we did it we got this little tiny hole see it right there between the blue and the green where I pulled off a little tiny, a little tiny piece of a little tiny piece of sponge. We did it. Okay. <laughs> God, this is terrible. Camera, please. Camera, please. Okay, we have a little bit of edginess there. Guess what? It's fine. Usually I would let that bother me. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe it even maybe it even bothers me a bit now. We're not worried about that. Sometimes you gotta just take your victories and just hold them closely to you. Also, this is stuck on here. Oh, I got it off. I was gonna say if I pull it off, I might pull the whole thing off. Okay, I'm gonna take literally the orange stick and lost in the woods. No, I, ne I need just like the tiniest, the tiniest dot. It won't go in there. Do I need a tweezer or something? Or like a tiny, a tiny, tiny brush. We get to do this all again on the other hand, by the way. Speed run two incoming. Maybe I use this one. This is pretty pointy. I just wanna, I just wanna fill in that hole so that it's not a hole. I'm, I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I just wanna like obscure it a little bit. Come on. It refuses to go in there. Do I have a... Okay, hold on. Here we go.
I think Sesh will fix the rest. Should I add a bit of blue to it? Maybe just a tad. You know what I say about polish surgery. It's about tricking the eye. Into just making sure there's not like a blank spot in the design. But that's better than like that chunk of sponge. Okay. 21 polishes in one manicure? What could go wrong? Find out! Okay. Yeah, so like, it's not, obviously like it doesn't exactly 100% match the gradient. Oh, camera, you had it for a second. You had it. But it just, you know, it blends in enough. Like, I can see it. It's right there. But probably once we top coat, it'll be fine. Also, it's a little bit off center. Like we don't have a lot of the dark and the like the OGs are slightly off center, but you know what? It's fine because otherwise the dark almost kind of overwhelms, but this one is like very nicely centered, I feel like. The ring finger, okay. <sighs> yeah, it's the same thing with water marbling. Like you just want to get something that's in like the same colors as the water marble and you don't want like a gap there okay so which of these other sponges that i cut i think we'll maybe use this one <laughs> and do it again except the opposite way so i should do purples on this end reds on this end and then it'll be, yeah. So that the light is on the inside edge. <laughs> it's harder than I thought, Glitter. The, the testing gave me a slight false sense of security because I didn't feel like I was going fast during the testing. But I was, and probably I don't have, I didn't have to go, also I need to clean all these before I close them. I didn't have to go as fast as I was going, but like basically the faster, the better. Also though, like some of it does come down to my sponge choice. Those sponges, Christine cells, I don't know how old those would have to be to start disintegrating no matter how dry the polish is, right? Cause they're like poreless. Whereas these sponges are like, you know, the be because they have so much pores in them, like it's actually a very delicate sponge, right? It's easy to like pull off a piece. Although like right there, I thought it was gonna pull off and it actually didn't. But like the denser a sponge is, I think the less, um, the less prone it's gonna be to like pooping on your nails. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I actually am not a huge fan of them either but maybe it's a learning curve maybe it just is or maybe it's personal preference i mean i decided i liked these best these are uh wonder wedges and i feel like the airiness in them helps me get a better blend like we literally had like it was definitely these versus the hollow taco and maybe like one or two other kinds and we used the same colors and i just tried to get as smooth of a gradient as i could and these gave me a smooth gradient so these are like what I prefer. Yeah, the hollow taco ones. I, I have a plan on what I want to do with those, I think. I don't know when I'm ever in the world going to get around to it, though. All right, so we need to do. And in, and in a lot of cases, too, like in other gradients, I know it's been a while since we did gradients, but if you're only doing Dino, you've missed so much drama. If you're only doing like three colors and you really can glom a lot of polish on the sponge worrying less about it you know obviously especially because i'm doing it in two directions the way the polishes bleed together make way more of a difference than in a normal let's say three color regular gradient um most times i'm able to go between nails and partially that's because like the polish is still so wet so that makes this take longer also 
Oh my god, I want some chicken curry for dinner. I actually, I do have dinner, but it's not until after stream. It's gonna be leftovers, but like they're gonna be delicious leftovers. But have a good dinner, A Train. Thank you for hanging out. Um, also, of course, this is gonna look even better. Top coat is the best part of gradients, but we're gonna do the other hand and clean up before we get to the top coat. <laughs> um, okay, red, purple. I'll record this too, I think. What's my memory card looking like here? I did just clean it off. Mm, chicken curry, dude. <laughs> uh, guess who didn't eat before stream? Guess who didn't expect it to be a four hour nail stream? Do -do -do -do. It was me. Why'd I make it a song? I don't know. Do -do -do. Okay, so we start off by marking the center and then we go, we go quickly. We go in the opposite direction we were going before. Because we're going on the opposite hand as we did before. Um, so once again, chat, maybe in between, I will have a little bit of time, but probably um oopsie Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna have to ignore you again for a little while also you know i'm kind of not loving okay you know what i don't i don't like the way this started i'm starting over do i have another decently sized this one can work especially since we're Hello? Hello? God damn it, dude. <sighs> Fuck! Hi. I'm so upset. Like, I don't know. frustrated i don't okay like i it's on my radar like i'm thinking about it i'm can't justifiably say i'm working on it but i'm aware i need a new computer but like dude computer please don't fucking die when i need you anyway i took a bathroom break while my computer was rebooting so i destroyed the latex on this hand uh so we need to do that again Yeah, I don't even know. Like, so, wait, are we frozen? 
Are we frozen? Are we okay? I'm dropping frames. Maybe it's just because it's still doing rebooting up stuff in the background. I'm just like so nervous. I dropped a bunch of frames. It looks okay now. <sighs> anyway, hi. Thanks for your patience. If if you hung around through all that, like thank you very much. I uh there are few things as panic inducing as a streamer than having well number one having your stream die number two having your entire computer die <sighs> I'm s <sighs> I'm living in anxiousness now even more than usual also I'm gonna have to figure out like where what when where I can see the error or like I don't know what caused it usually if like there's a every, every time this computer has blue screened I have known what the reason was or been able to find it in short order but right now monitor one is here monitor two is here ring light is also here ring light is in front of monitor so when it blue screened I couldn't even see there's a log in my computer and it will tell me the reason why how is it how is it no what are you talking about walk me through find the log or walk me through building a computer <laughs> how complicated is it to find the log I, I if it's not complicated I kind of would like to look just to make sure that it's not something that's like about to happen again is it is it easy not ter not terribly easy not terribly hard <laughs> it is easy okay yeah if you wouldn't mind entropy that would be so great i'm just so <sighs> brain got a whole bunch of very negative chemicals pumped into it No, because what, like, usually, so usually, like, my first move, if a blue screen pops up, is grab my phone and take a screenshot of the error. Well, not a screenshot, a, a, a shot of the screen. But since I was streaming, my first thought was, I have to let them know that I know I'm down. And when I first went to Twitch, it didn't take me to my chat. Like, it took me somewhere else. Like, if I'm live, fucking take me to my chat, Twitch, literally. And then I was like, wait, I should take I should take a picture of this. And then I was like, I need to like move the ring light out of the way. And then it was gone. Yeah, exactly. And so then I usually take that screenshot with the error and I Google that error and I edumacate myself. Like I used to have two C920 webcams from Logitech. Did you know that if you have two C920 cameras from Logitech plugged in at the same time, when you open OBS, your computer will blue screen every single time you have to open obs and then plug in your multiple yeah i'm on eight well 8.1 i guess don't yell at me i'm aware but yes i am <sighs> thanks for no i also once blue screened when I was playing with one of my PlayStation controllers. I forget if it was four or five and I switched to the other one, either four or five. And then at some later point, it decided it didn't like them both being connected at the same time and blue screened me. Oh, yeah, yeah, closed captioner, you're incredibly friendly. Yeah, but Entropy, I think you think I update much less frequently than I do I mean I I'm not gonna act like oh yeah man I update all the time but like it's not been like years and years since I updated it's not like that oh god um where 
Question mark? Shall I look? You didn't even know you were updating the tent, yeah. Two patches behind is too many. Mm. Maybe I'm less than two behind. Probably not. Um. Fuck, dude. Oh yeah, those things. Um. Okay. Um. We need to redo the latex here. We're gonna finish the manicure. I don't know what color is going on the rest of my nails. We managed to get purple polish on this nail. You <laughs> couldn't find your start menu and had to Google it. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be lost on any other version of Windows. That much is true. Control panel. Okay, hold on. Uh, hello computer. It's still going so slow. It's so slow after it reboots. System and security administrative tools. Event viewer. View event logs? Um, to view events that have occurred, why is this so small? To view events that have occurred on your computer, select the appropriate source log or custom view node in the console tree. The administrative events custom view contains all the administrative events regardless of source. An aggregate view of all the logs is shown below. It's, uh, it's thinking. Yeah, Chrome reopened fine. I mean, I don't, I don't have them all open when I'm streaming, you guys. I've told you this. I have stream closed caption opener. I have my dashboard open. I have chat open. I have a couple. I, I have a couple other things open, but I don't have everything open. Um. Critical one. Probably it's that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Kernel power. Event 41 kernel power. How bad is that? Does anybody know? Or should I Google it later after stream? Maybe I'll Google it right now. Google. Advanced troubleshooting. Windows 8 crashing due to kernel 841 power. When the computer is shut down, it restarts unexpectedly. How do I fix it? That's a video. I don't want to watch that. Tell me how to fix it. The kernel power I event ID 41 occurs when the computer is shut down or it restarts unexpectedly. That doesn't tell me anything. The issue known as a kernel power error seemingly appears for no reason yet is a critical system issue. Well, that all just sounds great. Great. There's another issue behind it. There's a couple other things listed here. There's a bunch of errors. There's a bunch of warnings. There's a bunch of information. There's a bunch of audit success. I mean, how do I know which of these is the important one? Like, literally.
there's so much stuff in here that I don't know what it is. The errors are the next level down in severity from critical. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of errors. But how do I know which one is the one that made it do it? Also, like, may, is it horrible to have, like, an awful lot of stuff in here? Or is it just normal that, like, errors and shit are happening all the time, but normally they're just not critical? Kernel event tracing? What does that tell me? Does it trace where the kernel event come from? Kernel PNP? What does that mean? Pff, information. Tell me information. I, I think I'm going to have to look at this more later. At least I guess I know where to look. Although when I look later, it won't be within the last hour. So should I like look more now? But if I should look more now, what do I look for? Um, wait, how many, how many errors? A hundred and thirty nine in the last hour, fourteen hundred in the last twenty four hour, nine thousand in the last seven days. Uh. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them are like. Python service. I don't know what Python service is. Bug check. I don't know what that is. Perflib. Perflib! Flib did it to me. I don't know what that is. S channel. I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know what any of these things are. <laughs> Live split has 143 in the past seven days, but none of those were in the last hour, which is good since I wasn't using Live split and I'd be worried if shit that I wasn't even using was throwing errors. But they're not time stamped unless there's like another thing I can select. It just it just shows last hour, 24 hours, seven days. But that's just I mean, that's like on the event viewer level. Like, should I look more into these other oh here so the one that's immediately before the kernel event tracing was a service control manager error I don't know what that is. That yeah, there's if I go into the administrative events instead of the event viewer, I can see timestamps. That's kind of bad. What? Okay. Do I need to worry more about it right now? Can I fix it? Something stopping a process from starting on my... But what process is trying to start when I'm just already in the middle of doing something? Okay, I don't need to worry about it right now and I can fix it. Okay. <sighs> Today on Troubleshooting with Colette MSLP. SLP. <sighs> 
I mean, I guess that makes sense. I just feel like I wasn't starting anything new. I wasn't changing anything. I was literally in the middle of doing what I was already doing. So I feel like I should be able to go on doing that indefinitely. I mean, I know obviously that's not true, but like, I don't understand. I don't understand why. Also, like, how do I, well, okay. I'm sorry, you guys are not my free tech support. I can spend some time with Google after stream. I just, I really like, computer problems make me feel like such a fucking idiot. Like, I feel like I should be more knowledgeable about computers considering that like a gigantic portion of my life is around computers and technology and being online and having a machine that at least somewhat works properly most of the time. <sighs> is that error log something I can make a copy of? I mean... save all events in custom view as or export custom view or copy custom view what is the difference between all those like those feel like all the same thing to me <sighs> oh thanks okay okay what is the what is the <laughs> What's the difference between save all and export? Which should, should I do one of those? Entropy, you can't, you can't fool me with that. You are very smart. And I can't even figure out what the difference is between these three options. Save all events as, okay. Also, I keep moving it back and forth so that I can see the logs and so that I can see chat. Let's plonk this on my desktop, I guess. Oh. Saves as an event files e e dot e v t x. What the heck is even that? To enable viewing this log correctly on other computers, you may need to include display information. Oh, I'm I mean, <laughs> sure. Okay. I think I saved them. It gave me a little message that it saved them. I, it's somewhere on my desktop. Oh, you can open those files actually in the event viewer. Okay. Uh, this is called a roller coaster of emotions if you're unfamiliar. From the high heights of literal success out of the jaws of defeat to the nadir of my shit doesn't work at all period point blank and I don't know why I just like why okay 
I'm just ranting. I don't expect an actual answer. Why can't computers just fucking tell you what's wrong? If you can generate an error code that tells me what's wrong, why the fuck can't you just tell me what is wrong without making me decrypt and decode like a million fucking codes and errors and open programs that I didn't even know existed on my computer in order to attempt to figure out what the fuck is going on? <sighs> Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw, but I started doing another another sponge before the crash, and I decided that I hated it, and I stopped. And uh, that's when I noticed that we had crashed. I don't even know what happened to that that one. Oh, here it is. It wasn't going well. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the times, yes, my brain's problem is it thinks too much about all of the bad things. So, to sum it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I just, it's like, what if it happens again? Like right now? I mean, I guess stream crashes, but I mean, like, <sighs> it's not overheating. Like it's, it's not even warm. I mean, this thing can be very hot. Like if I'm playing some of them, like this thing gets toasty and it's not, and it's not hot in here. Usually, I mean, a lot of times it's like 80 degrees in my room. It's like barely 70 in here right now. It was actually in the sixties earlier and I closed my curtains. It's not overheating. I mean, unless it's suddenly like, you know, a regular ass temperature is overheating, but I don't think that's how it works. <sighs> no, all computers do not crash all the time. My computer has not crashed. I almost feel like I can remember the exact stream that it crashed, but like I said, since that controller issue, which after I learned about it, now I always make a point of if I switch controllers of disconnecting the first controller before I connect the other controller. Um, like I've, I've never had an error where I'm just like, well, I like it just, it makes me so, so anxious. <sighs> All right. Mm, no, don't fall. You know what'll fix all the problems? Sugar. Because when doesn't sugar fix problems? <sighs> I'm just going to put an entire ass Butterfinger in my mouth. Don't mind me. it. I just put an entire Butterfinger in my mouth because my computer blue screen and I'm sad. faulty hardware corrupted page that sounds horrible once a month oh no Izzy I'm sorry y'all I have Butterfinger all up in my teeth y'all knew I knew this was gonna happen dwarf is it the kind that comes with the ziploc bag like built right into it it's like like a like a bag like that i don't know if that's accurate it's got like ziploc yeah artsy i uh had a blue screen 
I'm a little stressed. Whenever you restart, oh my god, okay. That's horrible. I'm eating another one, by the way. Yes, food is a coping mechanism. Horrible one, as it happens. Oh, that's full of crap. But you're so good. Support assist wants me to optimize my PC. What? Entropy? That's horrible. That's not fair. You guys, you guys are all so sweet. Tell me all your shitty computer problems to make me feel better so I don't cry on stream alive. Every little thinking swirl on my on my on my mouse or whatever is like making me suspicious. Every little extra peak in my CPU or my disk is making me suspicious. Even though I know there's all kinds of like crash recovery things probably still percolating in the background that are responsible for it. Mm. Now I have a problem because now I have Butterfinger impacted in my teeth and I can't reach in my mouth because my nails, while not wet, are fresh and not top coated and have latex on them and I don't want them in my mouth. <sighs> oh no, Summer. That's a hassle. I had to take one computer to Best Buy one time. It was a lemon. It was a month after I had purchased it. It died. It did not return to me. Or it did return to me, but it was like refurbished. Mm. My Butterfinger Monty literally the whole rest of the stream. This was a horrible idea. Don't go to Butterfingers to 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 deal with your emotions, boys and girls. And non binary. Pals. Okay. <sighs> what, Dino? Don't you have the password? Mm. All right, you guys. Should we start again on this absurdly complicated gradient that we have to go at top speed for? Geek Squad used to be really cool before Best Buy purchased them. Did you guys know that was a Minnesota company? They used to just be Geek Squad. Not Best Buy's Geek Squad. I'm I'm okay now, but please tell my like physical body that I'm okay now. That would be helpful. Oh wow, they had to replace the whole thing. What, you borrowed it and then it got leaked on? Oh no. Well, I'm, tr I'm trying out. I'm trying. Ellery, welcome on in. You know, if we hadn't already had like a little bit of a stressful time, maybe I would be handling this better. Or if it wasn't 11 at night and I hadn't eaten anything. <sighs> okay, let's just... Let's just... Uh...
Let's let's just let's just let's just try to finish this up. I want Alienware laptop. Oh my god. We wanna do like that, except backwards, I think. Yeah. Dark on this side this time, you guys. Maybe I'll do that. Not bat not upside down, but backwards instead. <sighs> yeah, we've got two we've got the left hand done with the full triple gradient. Um, so we just need to do that again on the other hand. Oh. The, 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 uh. I'm gonna just start. Actually, let me make sure none of these are stuck to themselves since they've been sitting here open i mean at this point for hours get stuck to their own lids we're gonna have to clean the lids before we close them or we're gonna have a hell of a time getting any of them open again <sighs> yeah i don't know what color the non-accent nails are gonna be <laughs> okay we're gonna we're, we're starting we're we're doing things we're not gonna do that we're gonna do this Okay. Everything is fine. And good and fine. Right, y'all? Dark on the right. Dark on the right. It should be fine after I just do it correctly on this one because the rest of them are all just going to be in line with this. Um. Right? faster right that was our lesson stop dilly dallying and feeling sorry for myself and go faster mm. and chat I'm sorry you'll have to amuse yourselves again for several moments while we attempt to not be pokey Oh, I don't like the way this is turning out. We'll see, though. This is the prep layer. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it'll be fine. If it's not fine, then we do it again. Right, right. Anybody who's just joining us, this manicure is hell. The stream fully crashed. My computer fully crashed. But we're trying to power through and finish up and have a wonderful manicure and then go fucking have dinner. 
and then probably spend the rest of the night trying and failing to figure out why my computer blue screened. That's the plan. That's the plan. And what we learned during the first couple is that going slow is the death of the sponge. So we have to go as fast as we possibly can, which is very difficult to also go neatly as you possibly can. Fragged? Wait, wh why was your computer fragged in the first place? My computer automatically defrags. Also, yes, that's like literally the only message that I read. No, I very recently checked if my like auto defrag or whatever it is like was working properly when I was uh, searching for any uh, increment of storage space that I could because like if you're super fragmented then you're actually like not taking advantage of all of your like you may not actually have as much room on your drive because it's so fragmented um I'm like 0% fragmented that's one thing I know is not the problem. And the drive is not that full right now either. I've got like over 100 gigs free. So I don't think it's to do with that. Like there's a bunch of things I don't think it is. I just, I literally can't fathom what it, what it is is. All right, this is for the thumb, and then the ring finger and the thumb are both going to need two more layers each. Whoa, sorry. That's fine. Fine-ish. Uh... I can get some on the side there. Okay. I will catch up with you guys like in two more layers. We got this. We we will finish this manicure. Through trials and tribulations. We will finish this manicure. fucking computer ruining my feeling of freaking success at solving the problem of the manicure hmm. that feels like a lot of yellow that also felt like a lot of yellow. Fucking A, dude. It does not feel like a lot of green. Okay. <sighs> the one good decision I made tonight was to do these as accent nails. Honestly, imagine being smart enough to not try to do this on every nail. K 
can you imagine my level of frustration trying to do this on every nail oh my god Short. You know what? It's not like the most grace gracefully blended thing ever. That's fine. For right now, honestly, it's fine. Every everything can't always be wonderful, right? We just gotta get through this. Getting through this would be wonderful at this point. Which means one more dabbing. And then Oh, that's a lot of orange. Uh, one more dabbing, clean up. We gotta decide on the on a color for the non-accent nails. Uh, almost done with this portion. Having this done will make me very happy. The only part of me that's going to be not happy is my back. Because this is still quite a bit of nail polish goblining. Maybe, maybe if I get those bifocals, those would be great for nail art and I won't have to nail polish goblin anymore. What do you guys think? If you have bifocals, do you use them when you do your nails? I don't know if this is a dumb question or not. Polo right them coming through. <sighs> um. Electrostatic or featured guest of the curtain current uh, choices I'm leaning toward. Thanks, Mel. You take your glasses off when you do nails. Well, that definitely would not work for me. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. It would be kind of tricky too. I mean, one of the things is okay. I'm sitting here. The ring light is right here. It literally. If the camera were two inches lower, you would be able to see it. So the ring light somewhat blocks my view, so I have to like get under. Like I can't, I can't look here, right? I have to like do this and then kind of like, I don't know. The ring light does not help with my posture is what I'm saying. I wear my bifocals at night. Oh, you know what I didn't do? So I can, so I can do nail art and not fuck it up all the time, all the time. Do, do, do. I wear my bifocals at night. So. Alright, that's not excellent peel because we didn't do it while it was wet. Gotta be careful these edges when they lift up like that. They can like lift lift back down. Things don't lift down again. They can go back down. Also, when I adjusted myself, my pillow adjusted itself in a non-comfy fashion. <sighs> I don't know, you guys. I really like my butt pillow, but I really do think I might need like the plus size one. But the plus size one is so fucking expensive. Why? Just because my ass is large, do I have to pay that much for an ass cushion? 
is there anything you would like me to rant about in my current ranty state and is there anything that you said while i was doing this complicated gradient that you'd like me to see you can please feel free to repost it now the good old hunch and scrunch yeah <sighs> yeah that too i mean like this is all so that you guys can see well so that youtube can see well Oh, the explanation on defragging. Mm. Wait, have you also been having problems, Artsy? How far do I have to go? Oh, oh it's so far up here. Where is it? Mm. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, Artsy. <sighs> I want to go take a nap. Nap sounds even better than dinner right now. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, the lighter one would play with the lighter colors, right? The darker one would play up the darker colors. I guess technically, like, Circuit Breaker would be, like, the middle option, but it's less of a gray between these and more of a silver. We had it out earlier. I don't know where it went. I've got a headache. I literally don't know why. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm not doing circuit breaker, so it doesn't matter. We need to clean up. Um. Dark on pinky and light on index. What about middle finger then? Also, that would be... No. Oh, the third one that I don't know where it is. Where, like, didn't I literally have it out earlier in stream? Is this it? Okay, this is it. It's not really in between. <sighs> oh yeah, you have to get up early in the morning, son. I hope you get some good rest. Oh, that is not fun. I hope it all goes smoothly, though. Huh, <laughs> get it smooth, colonoscopy, no polyps. Is that tacky? <laughs> or is it hilarious? Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, you guys, you know what? I'm feeling a little bit manic. <sighs> no, we're not doing any more fucking gradients, Dino. We've been going for fucking... I don't even know. <laughs> what what time did I start? We've been going for like five hours. I don't... I, I just wanna... I, I just wanna be done. Let's just do the cleanup. I don't even know which one I'm going to pick yet. We need to do the cleanup, though, whichever color it is. <sighs> Shout out to your colon. Hi, battery. <sighs> okay. We'll close these after we do cleanup, right? It'll be... They'll be fine until then. All right. Just scoop them slightly out of the way. <sighs> Blacklisted is almost, if anything, actually both darker and brighter than electrostatic. I think I want to stay in a linear hollow finish. Maybe I should be doing like this. It's electrostatic, isn't it? Even on this angle, which shows like the lighter colors.
Yeah, okay. I mean, in that case, I, I could have put the gradient on the middle finger as a middle finger accent nail. I considered that, Dino, but I've had a couple mismatched manicures lately and I hate it. I hate it even more than I think I'm going to hate it, even when I think I'm going to like it. <clears throat> Once the gradient is complete and the protection is removed, I'm going to go in and do any close-up cleanup with my usual small brush dipped in acetone. Shout out to YouTube voice. They'll never know. Unless they watch the VOD. Which I'm going to have to edit into a single fucking... I hate editing such long form shit. It takes 87 years. The gradient turned out beautiful. <laughs> after after the initial actual actual fuckery, the gradient turned out beautiful. We never did come up with a name either. Uh, hot gradient on gradient action live on your YouTube channel. That's hot. I wish I had a little bit more gradient between like the dark to light like I feel like the Roy G. Biv gradients are all pretty good but because I was trying not to let the dark get too muddy on top of the OG like I didn't do too much side to side um dabbing so I feel like that's maybe not quite as quite as smooth but like it's decent it's fine The hardest gradient ever? Question mark, question mark, exclamation mark. You won't believe your eyes when you see how many polishes this uses. Does anybody remember, speaking of how many polishes this uses... Did I remember to say at the beginning that this is all of the, all three of the rainbow collections and that that will be listed down in the description or was I not smart? <laughs> Two gradients, one cup. <laughs> I, I feel like that was such a long time ago. Two gradients, one sponge. knew how little I was looking forward to upgrading my, my PC. See, even here, we got like a little bit of muddiness in the corner. 
crimson void and, and like uh, burnt bridges. You can kind of see like here, like they blended a little more. This one they kind of muddied a little more. It's fine. But like that was the trickiest spot. Oh. purring. Do you know I'm stressed out, buddy? You can come up here. Come up. You come to give me good kitty vibes? Thanks. boy you such a good boy yes you are When you're so stressed, your cat just knows and shows up instantly purring and sits on your lap. <sighs> yeah, Aaron Sale. It, uh, he's, he's got quite a purr, a purr. Math Raid coming in. Welcome, Raiders. Torney also with the bean pets. I'm petting him. You can't see because he's not on camera, but I am petting him. Oh, you did do some outbound ghost. I hope you had a good straight math. You're all full of fur, sir. We have a bean in my lab. I have seen only a very little of that. I, I guess I'm not as much on the hype train for it because I've never, uh, I've never played a Paper Mario. Yeah, you can go back to Beanie's chair now. I'll go over here. Ugh, but welcome, welcome Raiders. We are trying to pull through the end of this. I am moderately stressed out, but we're going to finish this manicure. Cute. Nice. I'm glad you had a good stream. Um, hello everyone. I'm Clet. We're, uh, we, we did our accent nails. In a fantastical, tropical, tropical, trip, triple gradient situation here. <sighs> Math, you know, <laughs> you know the rule. Don't ask, chat. You already know. You already know what chat's gonna say. Uh. But yeah, I had a blue screen about an hour ago, so I'm still just salty about that. Math and nail stream. Yeah, I mean, math math could do a nail stream. Math has some very good polishes to do a nail stream with. Thank you, Allie. So yeah, we're just... <sighs> trying to pull through. I'm really tired. I have a headache. (sighs) 
They're bomb, though. My nails are bomb. We just have to, like, fucking get through this. Also, like, maybe this is gonna need some cleanup, but you know what? It's fine. I hadn't actually decided what color the non-accent nails were going to be until I finished the gradient and now that I have I've decided to go with Hollow Taco Electrostatic and the colors for the gradient will be listed in the information box since there are so many of them. It is all three of the Hollow Taco Rainbow Collections. I almost could get away with one coat of Electrostatic. <laughs> We haven't even had any flashlight time on this. We had flashlight on the tester. But not on the actual manicure. <laughs> oh, the bainy treats are redeemed. I can't do it while my nails are wet though, Wisp. Or not redeemed, refreshed. I feel like that should be something Twitch should... Like, if your stream goes down and comes back up, channel points things should know better than to... Oh, that's the accent now. Channel points should know better than to... Reset things. I guess I could put... Maybe I should put, like, a 24-hour cooldown... I can worry about that later, I guess. Um, although I don't know if he necessarily needs any more treats because he's already had his fill tonight. And he has been kind of pukey lately. Anyway, did I finish my intro? I'm Colette. I'm a nail artist and variety streamer. Sometimes we do Hollow Knight. Sometimes we do Hades. Sometimes we do nail art. And get more tilted than we do at either game. But not quite as tilted as I get at a turn of Noctis. <laughs> Have I ever been as mad at a manicure as I get at a turn of Noctis? Oh. Yeah, but you can put you can put a, a per user cooldown, can't you? Or can you only put a per user per stream cooldown? I guess that wouldn't solve the stream issue. Though. Yeah, I mean, gee Twitch, why don't points just reset in the middle of stream? That's what you would have to say to get them to oh fuck to get them to do it properly so that they can quickly do the opposite of the best thing <sighs> oh god I don't know I'm gonna I'm, the, I did not I mean I didn't make that command at all alien DJ boss man oh my god I don't know if it's per user per time I know there's per user per stream um, because I have something that's got a per user cooldown on it. Not the treats, not pets, certainly. Um, but yeah, there there is a per user cooldown, but I don't remember if it allows time or if it only allows per stream. Um, music gal, thank you, thank you. We're good. We're gonna do it. We got. One more coat will do. Oh God, Jesus. Can I just fucking. We're going to finish this. We're going to clean up. We're going to top coat. We're going to flashlight time. I'm going to end stream. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to record intro and outro. 
and then I can finally fucking have dinner. <sighs> one user per stream, not one user per time. That's unfortunate. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Everything is fine and good and fine. No, Eterna Noctis tilted me way more than Cuphead. I stopped playing Cuphead, but I don't feel like I rage quit it. I 1000% rage quit Eterna Noctis. And like, I, w I would like to finish Cuphead sometime. I was watching Vin play. And I mean, I muckhead plays all the time too, obviously. And, like, and especially like now that the DLC is out, like I always intended to go back and finish it. Maybe if 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 only you could do like some long term gombles, we could gamble of whether Eterna Noctis or Cuphead would get finished first. But who knows how long it'll take for either of those things to happen. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I'm so ready to be done. Mm. Yeah, well, honestly, I mean, okay, the fucking sponge issues, man. That was the unexpected part of tonight. I mean, like the blue screen, whatever. That, that obviously took some time and that was also unexpected. But the fucking sponge issues, that's where we lost at least an hour. At least an hour. An hour to the sponge issues, half an hour at least probably to the blue screen of death. You know, if it was like, what would what would that be? An hour and a half? If it was like 10 o'clock and I was finishing this, that would be like a little bit longer than I maybe wanted, but not actually longer than expected. But the fucking, the fucking, uh, the disintegrating sponges really sapped my strength. Is Cuphead not safe for work? No. I don't think there's anything in Cuphead that's not safe for work. What? Why? Does it sound inappropriate? It's got old schooly hand drawn animations. Like really, really beautiful artwork. Super catchy, super catchy music. <sighs> My playthrough, like what there was of it, like I didn't finish it, but God, it was actually like a while ago at this point, wasn't it? Probably more than a year. I probably need to just restart altogether if I play it again. I mean, kids are... Sometimes maybe more resilient than adults. Maybe not always. I guess it depends on the kid. I could see a kid getting good at Cuphead. Yeah, what it makes you scream, fuck. Uh, I assume you've played math. Was it before? It must have been before you streamed. Or did I miss math playing Cuphead? No. Yes, no. I feel like I would have seen that and I would have watched. I've seen all of base Cuphead. I haven't seen almost any of the DLC yet, though. For some reason, I decided not to look at it. 
But I watched Jerry do like his whole playthrough of Cuphead. Hi, Flub. The before times. Uh, long, long ago. Um, hmm. I, I feel like I'm really, really dropping the ball on conversation here, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is just taking so much of my concentration and brain power right now. <laughs> Wait, Dwarf, are you still live? That's not allowed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <sighs> Not allowed. <laughs> I I literally can't relate. Dwarf is a gamer. Being able to watch me and do literally anything in Eterna Noctis at the same time. <laughs> Certified gamer. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, calf. The music is like super catchy. I don't know if I would say the music is as good as Hollow Knight, like overall, but it definitely is very catchy, and it definitely, absolutely suits the game. Are you saying I'm counteracting your rage? What am I to do to counteract my own rage? You guys. Hey, Iris, welcome. We are we are just wrapping up here. We are about to top coat and uh, then we are gonna call it a night. It's interesting, electrostatic looks just black from there, but if I get up here, you guys get to see some of the hollow. We'll do flashlight time. That's a patch nail, that's why it's so weird at the tip. <laughs> Excuse me. We'll do flashlight time after top coat. You guys want to be closer for top coat on this gradient? <laughs> oh god. Because you tried each level like a hundred times. Okay. <clears throat> Finally, as usual, we're going to finish everything off with top coat. And today I'm using Seshvit. That's not what I usually say. What the fuck do I usually say? As usual, sesh feet. Not as usual when we're finishing. I, I don't know. <clears throat> Did I record both layers of the black? I, you know what? I honestly don't know. It's too late if I didn't. Once we're done applying the electrostatic, we can, we can, you can, I can. Oh. I'm overthinking everything. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. I want to be done now. Literally one more line. Can I please? <clears throat> Finally, we're going to finish everything off with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using sesh feet. That's what I usually say. Whoa. 
flooding. A little, little bit more flooding than I intended. it's fantastic that was very sloppy That little repair we did turned out just great. <sighs> I use the camera mic. I'm t I'm too lazy to audio sync. I should sync probably from like the stream audio. I mean, it's not too big of a deal right now because like it's quiet but like when I have my air conditioner or something on uh, the stream audio is much nicer because I mean I have my filter to filter out the, the AC and the fan and stuff and I do not have any filter on my camera but god add more work to editing just shoot me now That's a hair. see like I said maybe all the suffering is worth it maybe YouTube will decide to like favor me in the algorithm again and my YouTube channel will quit sucking and I'll be so thankful that I'll be inspired to edit like I've never before been inspired to edit Yeah, I don't know if it would do it with like so many like chunks though because I mean like I don't record on my tutorial camera like the whole time I'm streaming it's in like you know chunks throughout the whole thing so I would have to chunk the the VOD audio too I would imagine because I mean we'll have I think I've got like 20 minutes of footage tutorial footage out of what is now probably about a five and a half hour stream counting both parts so I think it would be kind of tricky are you guys ready <laughs> ready for me to drop my flashlight shall we shall we turn off the focus so that it doesn't get all crazy
dark rainbow into OG rainbow into pastel rainbow. And electrostatic, of course. We did it. God, I hate, I hate this hand. I'm trying to pose this hand. Even pose little right thumb. Actually, is gonna focus for me. It's nice. I was thinking we might get some blurry hollow, which sometimes is very, very pretty. Like that. Eh. Less impactful to have blurry hollow in a gradient, I guess. A little bit than usual. But yeah. We did it! Yeah, it actually turned out. It actually turned out. But what shall we name it? That's the real question. <laughs> Three rainbows, one sponge is so tempting, but also like... <laughs> that, is, that is not on brand. For anybody who's wondering like what kind of pain we went through. Those are chunks of sponge. That happened multiple times on my nails. Badly enough that we had to start over twice. Three times actually. Well, we started over twice, which is three starts gradient apocalypse yeah the thing is i mean like nobody nobody's looking for those things you guys nobody's looking for those things we want the title to be searchable we want maybe not the best seo but at least not shitty seo God, there's so many chunks here. Okay, can I just, maybe we'll just move them over here. So what we need to do right now, it's a pretty dry. Before I cut stream, because if I wait until after stream, I will not be accountable and I may not do it, is just make sure that these are at least moderately clean before I put them away so that I can hopefully open them next time I want to use them. Triple rainbow gradient, yeah. I also don't think I have anything called that. I mean, I've done double rainbow things several times. Maybe, can I use? these sponges like the edge of the sponge would that work if I get a little acetone on that or would that just be like too much yeah I don't think that's actually gonna work I'm gonna stick with the q-tips oh we're probably like overly close right now hold on your uninformed ear your ear is getting more informed by the day, ma. Oh, 
yeah, I don't know. I go between like keep it simple, keep it, you know, ex explanatory, descriptive, and make it sensational. Also, like, I go back on back and forth on do I put Hollow Taco in the title? it is you know ode to hollow taco rainbows basically an ode to christine for bestowing these upon us and lo though my computer did blue screen yet and still did i have a blue freezy because I was going so fast definitely some of these are messier than others especially the ones that were like in the back row and I was already having trouble opening some of them Ode to Hollow Taco Rainbows just name the video go buy all the Hollow Taco Rainbows right now you know you want to that's the title Hollow Taco Rainbow Mega Gradient. The end of the rainbow. At the end of the rainbow is a pot that's full of more rainbows. <laughs> God, what, what? Who at wool? That almost like flicked directly on me, and I hate getting nail polish on my clothes because it can be really hard to get off. It didn't, right? Ah, oh. ultimate hollow taco triple rainbow gradient. Kind of pretty undank. That's a pretty dank title. <laughs> ultimate i like the ultimate part <laughs> i mean also something like you know like i said like i don't know what what is the action does the thing where you pick the colors actually have a name you know how we were saying like the 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 photoshop you know color picker or whatever type of a thing where you're like like what what is that called Prism Rainbow Gradient. Yeah. Well, oh God, I can, can I can I just okay. Don't get mad at yourself, Clip. Be understanding of yourself. Yourself has had a long day. Okay, self. I'll try to be nicer to you. <sighs> because for anybody who's just getting here, we have not been live for one hour and a half this did not happen that quickly we started stream at like six and it is now midnight don't let the uptime fool you <laughs> eyedropper with speed timber and these are speed nails there were speedy portions there literally were i felt the same stress that i feel when i'm speed running at several points during this manicure that's true that's true ain't it I need more acetone. We're almost done. We're over half done. <sighs> At least I don't have to think about it right away. Um, Cause it's only Wednesday. And I'll get to procrastinate. Actually, no wait, that's a lie. I do need to think of it right away because I'll probably record my intro and outro after stream. Cause if I don't, 
I'll either fuck up the manicure and then have a fucked up manicure in the intro, which is not exactly a great intro, or I'll forget about it. I've actually done that. I've done a manicure, didn't record the intro right away, forgot about it, took it off, realized I had no intro or outro. I wonder, you guys, I've got a million dollar idea. It's not really a million dollar idea, but it's like an idea. Maybe we could market these to other nail polish people. Something that is of the exact shape that would be the perfect shape for cleaning off polish bottlenecks. So you didn't have to sit and fuck around with a Q-tip. Also, I know you guys can't like see like a lot. This one actually wasn't too dirty, but you can see like how much is coming off the threads. And you guys saw when I opened these, how much trouble I had with some of them. Oh, Helmers. Oh. Speed timbre speed nails. Yeah, the VOD, I will put a clickbait title on the VOD. How many things can go wrong? You'd be surprised. Unless you were here, then you know exactly how many things went wrong. The answer is lots. Mm. A tissue? How do you do that with a fresh manicure when you have 21 bottles to clean? I mean, it requires acetone at this point. They've been open long enough. Like this is like half dried on here. Not fully dried, but like at least half dry. Carefully and swiftly. Dino, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's a little bit hard to do anything swiftly when there's 21 of it. Especially, like, it's so gummy. I mean, what time did we do the first tests? These have been open the whole time. You know, sitting like this with the bottle, with the cap on, but not screwed. Let them try and pick them off. Pick them off? I don't think I could pick them off. My concern is being able to open the bottles again. Because if they dry in the threads and then you're like trying to like open it and it's like, haha, no. It's like literally like glued, glued shut with its own, with its own polish. Okay, almost done. Almost done. I mean, there's definitely too, like I can tell there's some older stuff on here that is not coming off. I mean, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh. even though the stuff that like is from today is sticky, like there's definitely like some older stuff that's like on here thoroughly. Okay, last one. I almost got that on my Manny. <sighs> Hello.
Helmer top is packed. Big red arrow pointing at the six hour time. Yeah. Thing is, like, that's not out of the ordinary. The previous nail art, the, the Dodakir one, was a six hour vlog. Oh. No, I'm always afraid I'm gonna, like, rip off my gaming callus or something when I'm trying to open something that doesn't want to open. That sounds horrible. Oh. Sesh Restore for opening dried closed bottles? How much of it was testing? I mean, a goodly chunk. I mean, a chunk of this was testing too. We did do testing. What? How? When? God damn it, dude. Literally, they're dry. I mean, they're not fully dry, but what did I jam it into that did this? But literally, like, I mean, I don't know. I guess I've been at it for a while. I mean, you can see, I, like, can't even buff the whole thing out. Like, it's most... Okay, you know what? Okay, it's fine. Guess what? It's fine. Guess what? It's fine. I mean, I always, I always ding a nail. I expect to ding at least one nail during a manicure. That is expected. This is a different level. We're waiting so we're not top coating on actually completely wet polish. Like it's smoothed out. We just need a top coat. It's fine. This it's fine. It's just irritating. <sighs> How, how's everybody doing? You ever just think to yourself, God, I'm really glad that I don't tempt such foolish things as Colette does. I'm going in. It's, I know it's very, very wet. We're just going to float the top coat. We're going to glom and float. Oh, that's so much top coat. That's so much top coat. That is a lot. Oh, it should be fine, though. All better. I'm dying a lot of spaceship in a game I would not have expected to find a spaceship in. Wait, are you talking about the alien spaceship? Well, I mean, those are, I, I guess those are the normal kind of spaceship. <laughs> spaceship, excuse me, God. Okay, you guys. I think we're done. I think it's time to find somewhere to send you. I'm trying to wait just like a moment so that I don't like ding this when I reach for my mouse. Um, I'm happy with this manicure. The manicure's great. I love how this gradient turned out. It's 
got a little bit of texture. I almost could use another layer of top coat on the gradient nails. Do you think I should? Also, where did this drop of yellow come underneath here? Like you can see, actually, maybe I really should. Look at those dimples. Okay, hold on, I lied. I lied. We're gonna do another coat on the gradient nails because they're dimply. And I didn't notice until right now. Thanks, Alt. Like, that's much nicer. And then I'll be more aware, too, if I have, like, half my nails with fresh top coat than just one nail with fresh top coat. I like this one, too. Did you guys see, see the dimples there on the side? We just need to, like glom a little bit more glom is a very technical term hmm. there now it's smooth okay <sighs> Artsy rip, but also bread. Bread is bread is good. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm sorry I was grumpy for basically the last portion of stream. Am I muted or not muted? I'm not muted. I didn't realize I still have this tab open. Um, ha ha ha, insert tab joke. All right, let me see what's going on here. Where I can, where I can look at sending you guys. Tomorrow, um, I, I think tomorrow I'm probably going to be off. Unless I change my mind, because, I mean, you know. <gasps> Birdie is on. Birdie doing a late night stream again. Squid is still on with a very interesting hat. I feel like this is late for Squid too. Dwarf is in fact still on also. Thanks, Llama. But if you put it in the fridge, won't it get mad at you? Don't things like to be warm while they're proofing and not chilly? Rip but also bread. Yeah. Math, math, when are we gonna what are when are we gonna make sub goals to run back all achievements together again? It'll be a tradition. I got, I got raided at the end of stream last night, so I did some god home things, and I made sure to do at least one abs rad to keep my abs rad not rusty. Um, Dwarf, you've been going a long time, too. Are you going to be going for a while longer? Question mark. Probably yes. Okay. Thank you, Tarny. Slow stops the proofing process, which would be the goal. Cold, cold proofing. I've never heard. I've never heard of that. Oh 
Oh, mm, mm. Remember when I started the stream and I said I was really tired? And I said maybe I, if, if I was not quite so inspired, I would just do a plain manicure. If I ever come on and say that again, remind me of this moment. I said, Claire, are you sure about that? Mm, strummer. Strummer. Are you sure that was a good idea, Strummer? Strummer, that sounds like a not great idea, Strummer. Strummer, remember what happened last time you said that, Strummer? You guys, I, I've, I've gone through all of the emotions this evening. Thank you for hanging in with me. Again, I know, like, you know, whatever, but like, I'm sorry for being grumpy. I'm not mad at the manicure for once. I'm just mad in general. You ever just like, the shit that made you mad is over, but you're still mad. That's where I am right now. <sighs> All my sponges disintegrated and then my computer blue screened, Gidge. Did you take a nap? Where did you go? How did you miss this? Um. And I've got a headache and my back hurts and I'm tired and I'm hungry. And if I had wrapped up an hour and a half ago, if we hadn't had the problems, like, it would be fine. Like, it's not... You know what? If we had wrapped up now and not had the problems, I would be fine. Being angry is so fucking exhausted and then exhausting. And it's like, well, Colette, maybe you shouldn't be angry so much then. Well, I wish it was that easy. <sighs> yeah, what is that saying? If you, if you hate everyone else take a nap if if you if you hate the world eat some food if you hate yourself take a shower there's three things you hate and three things you should do if you're feeling that do you guys know okay guess what all everybody in the hollow knight community that write notes just needs to learn how to write in split notes format and then people won't need people to read notes for them because notes will be accessible and usable while you're streaming or running or doing whatever if i if i learn any other routes or if i learn any reroutes for my current categories i'm split notifying everything and i'm not sharing them no i'll probably share them if people ask but like I don't know why people don't just write in split notes. If like, okay, that's like a whole nother rant. That's a whole other rant. Now that I've discovered split notes, I don't understand why everything is not a split notes. <laughs> math, did I tell you? Okay, we're, we're, I am wrapping up, but I, I have to commiserate with math right now, except I don't know if I'm going to commiserate because I don't know if he's experienced this. Math, since you updated to split notes too, have you tried to share your split notes on stream and were you able to? Because I was not. And I had to go back to split notes one if I wanted to show them to chat. And then it turns out that split notes one calls me out if I have an extra space in any of the in-between lines in between the splits. Yeah, I went to window capture split notes two which has an update that renames it, but I don't remember the name, so guess what? It's still Split Notes 2. White Square. Literal White Square. Literal White Square. Showed the mouse, no text. Highlighted it, still nothing. Blank Square. Hey, you have a mouse. So then I went back to Split Notes 1, and it only shows one split at a time, and it's not kind and ignore my spaces that I made in error because it was my first time making a split note, and I didn't know that I had to be careful not to include any extra spaces in there, or it would just break. But I did get them working, and I did use them when I ran all skills the other night. Last night? I don't know. Whenever the fuck that was. Anyway. <clears throat> Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to uh, hit that follow button if any if there's anybody else here that forgot to follow. And uh, you know what? If you have some extra money, throw it at me over on YouTube, please. By joining, and YouTube will also throw some money at me for you joining. <laughs> 
And then, and then when this drops, you can react with gargles. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Artsy. I'll try to ungrumpify myself before I show my face around here again. And, uh... Look some more into that blue screen error, I guess. Anyway. Okay, we're actually going to start the raid and start rambling. Start rambling? Probably. Stop rambling. Um... Raid. We're gonna go raid Dwarf. Dwarf is fighting alien DJ boss. If you know, you know. Please feel free to copy the raid command and drop your own favorite simple little emotes. Um, maybe I need a DJ emote. Maybe my jam emote is a DJ Paulette. Ideas. I have so many ideas. I need to narrow down my ideas. Um... I'm glad you guys like the nails. Also, I'm glad this turned out. I'm glad it's cool. I'm glad you guys think it's cool. And um, I appreciate all your support and hand holding and all those good things. And you guys are all awesome, even when I'm feeling less than awesome. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you. And I hope I'll see you guys all next time, which will probably be late Friday presuming I take tomorrow off as I'm currently tentatively planning to artsy okay thanks um but yeah I'm gonna go clean up get dinner go to bed forget all the shit happened <laughs> good night everyone and if you are in the future on YouTube please feel free to subscribe if you would like to support my content creation, please feel free to join as a member. And if you would like to hang out live for nail art, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash MSLP for all of the shenanigans, good and or bad, there may be. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.